Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of NMB Takoyaki Party, episode 54. This is a fan podcast about the Osaka-based idol group NMB48. It's your boy Matt, back from, uh, you know, Happy New Year, long the long holiday break and stuff. You know, it may have been a couple weeks since you actually heard our voices from the New Year's talks and stuff. But I'm joined by senior correspondent Ryan. See, did you promote me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so when, you're, when your Oshi graduates, uh-huh. you become senior correspondent. Uh, <laughs> or in uh, Jeff's case, hi Jeff. Hey. Happy um, if year. you're yeah, if your Oshi graduates, but then you find a new Oshi, you get demoted to junior course. <laughs> Dem- demoted? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Why? Because I'm too I'm too easy. Yeah, you're unfaithful. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chihi's always my second. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, happy new year, happy new decade. Yeah, we did our. I mean, yeah, just catch up. Yeah, we did our uh, end of the year awards podcast, the Gold Takoyakis, for like three days. Um and. Uh, I think that's fun. I think I enjoy doing it. Do you guys like doing it? Yeah. The awards, yeah. It's, it's always, always nice to recap the year. Yeah. yeah. Like there, there, there's all a bunch of stuff. Like I forgot actually happened this year. Or last so, year. Yeah, or last year. Sorry. Yeah. See, I, I was telling you guys, like it doesn't feel like 2020 to me. Yeah, you're still writing like 2019 on like your days and stuff. Yeah. Or yeah. Whatever. Like that always happens until like, like February or March by the time mm-hmm. I start like getting it right or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Too bad for those guys um, who have January birthdays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no one remembers. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, we did those. We didn't really get any comments or like no one picked like their picks for the awards or anything. So as far as I'm concerned, I think we got like, we nailed all the awards. <laughs> <laughs> like, we got them all right. Everyone agreed with us. Unanimous you know. decision. Yep, uh, you know. Oh, Mikana. except for the except for the disappointment one with Mikana. Yeah, Mikana Amimaru, worst members of the year. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like, and you the know, graduation of the you, year. You know, you know, you know that uh, because we picked Mikana, it got it got her so upset, right, that she yeah went on hiatus. Yeah, <laughs> we had an effect. Uh, Nibame no Door is both the one of the best songs and also one of the worst songs of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Was that was that Craig? I think it was Craig, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it was like uh that reminds me of like uh this one like Game of the Year podcast I listened to where like they voted like Red Dead Redemption two as one of the most disappointing games of the year, uh-huh. but also it was one of the top ten most uh, best <laughs> games of the year. So it was that kind of situation. But yeah. Those are up there. Yeah, if you haven't commented on them, haven't posted your picks, you can still do those. We might check them out later. I listen to them. Like I think it yeah. was a good discussion, so yeah, split it up three days because I think otherwise it'd have been like three hours nonstop. So yeah, check those out. So yeah, it is twenty twenty, new year, new decade. So we're gonna catch up on some news, some that happened since our last episode, and some that you know, some brand new stuff. So we're gonna go in hot with the whole uh, the whole trend. So last year's trend of graduations, hey, it's still God, it's still happening. Damn it, here in twenty twenty. I. The one, this is one thing we wanted to stop. I yeah, thought no, I no. thought it was over. <laughs> yeah, it, it's one of those inevitabilities, you know. Like the death, thing is, taxes, like this this one was obviously decided like way before. Like I she's graduating so. yeah. before yeah, yeah, yeah. Amimaru. Yeah, so we haven't said her name. <laughs> I, yeah. Everyone knows who, who it is. O- Ota Riona. <laughs> Ota Riona announced her graduation. Just a few days ago. So, yeah, someone sent, uh, I, I think Takumi sent this to me online, and I thought he was fucking with me. Like a troll this, post yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so this is like the most, like, um, let, let's ignore Yuri, right? But yeah. I think this is the most upset. <laughs> I I've mean, not, not, at, not uh, difficult. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most upset I've gotten at the graduation since uh, Nami. Um... Nishinaka Nanami. And it's not because yeah. like I owe she them or anything. It's more like the lost potential mm. and like what it means basically. Yeah. Especially if you listen to her um explanation why she's graduating, and it's like, oh my god. Like if this was like the NMB of five years ago, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. So basically she says she's graduating because she wants to go to university. And she's going to be in her last year of high school starting from April. So she yeah. wants to focus on her studies. 
Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, like, I mean that was the same thing with uh, Goto Dala, like, but she like went on like a half a year hiatus. Oh, I mean that's what uh, Nambari Nato is doing right now. Yeah, and then she came back for like another six months and then graduated. Like after, like I about halfway into her first year in the university, so yeah. I mean, could have had, still had her technically for a year, maybe, but yeah, yeah. So, like for example, Hinacho right now is doing the same thing, right? She went on mm-hmm. hiatus to study uh, for her exams, and you know, maybe come back if she passes. But yeah, or also comes back if she doesn't pass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a backup plan. Yep. No, because uh, if, you, if you read uh, Riona's blog, she does she does say like uh, up till now, like she had uh, like a life plan. So this is what I thought uh, about Shu as well when she graduated. Like mm-hmm. she had a plan where like you know she'd go to high school, she'd go to college, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So maybe her parents already had like this whole plan out for her. And to go move to New York, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that's what uh, I that's... wonder. I wonder if that was planned. <laughs> <laughs> and get a dog. No. Yeah. So, um, like, Riona was saying the same thing. She had a life plan, and then, like, th- this, like, idol thing just, like, put a wrench into it. Yeah. She, yeah, she kind of applied to the uh, NMB audition on a whim. Yeah. Mm. She was saying it, it was a uh, life experience, basically. She wanted it for life experience because she didn't think she was going to pass anyway. And she almost didn't pass. Mm-hmm. She was a uh, fourth round pick. Okay. So, I think I think more than like talking about like what NMB lost with Riona, I think the biggest thing is like what it means, right? Like the 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 lost potential and the I don't yeah. know, man. She she was like Kenkyusei Center and she got into Senbatsu and then mm-hmm. it's like okay, got see you later, guys. It. Yeah. So this is like. If if Craig was here, he's gonna say like, "Oh, it's gonna be like Sinshu, right?" The 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 shock of it yeah. happening, and uh, I think it is like the the. I'm saying I I haven't been upset as as, as upset since Nami, but then um with with if you consider like the lost potential and like what it meant, maybe Sinshu it's gonna be like yeah. Sinshu, yeah, because Shu was like at the top of the mountain basically, right? Yeah, of her generation. Yeah, want to push like any future aces. Yeah, and then and it's exactly the same as Riona. And then everyone was expecting her. Like people were like saying like um, they wanted to see Riona as center, whether mm-hmm. with Team N or with like the the entire the entire NMB. That was how much they were like expecting from her. And she's like, "See you later, guys." <laughs> And it sucks yeah, too, it's man. It's like, it's two weeks for from her graduation. Yeah, yeah. It's like very sudden announcement. Yeah. So like, if you're a Hoshi, you want to do like some kind of like you know, you know, graduation send off stuff. You better hustle. like congratulations. You have two weeks. Yeah. And there's no you have tickets there, already. There's no there's no handshake, in between. Um. Yeah. Well, her last handshake. Yeah, no, was, I mean, uh, yeah. There's no way second. to co- to collect uh messages. Yeah, I guess. So. Oh wow, well, yeah. So it's, they can only do like collect them online. Yeah, I mean there must be people uh, in front of the theater. Like, yeah, that too. Every collecting, day. but then how many people <laughs> pass by the theater? Yeah, I guess they could maybe do it like at the Tokyo Dome City concert. May... But... No, it's they don't have oh. space for that. Yeah, they won't. They won't allow you unless you just stand in in the public area and do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. fucking terrible. It sucks. But yeah, I mean, you can't even talk to her, like between her announcement and her grad show either. Yeah. So next, let's. So they're saying, oh, they have. She has one last handshake, and then that's it. And it's Kanto, it, right? For very second. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, 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 that's Osaka. Oh, it's Osaka. Oh. It, well, it's well, there's also the February first AKB one. I assume yeah. she's in that too. Yeah. Okay, so there's two events. Yeah. That's but still, that's... right. Uh, so what about her Kanto fans? Okay. Fuck you, losers. Yeah. yeah. That's always the case, right? <laughs> I mean, no. So, uh, like, sudden graduations are rare. 
Yeah. They always but, give like I mean I, I'm I'm contradicting myself because like when, when Yuri graduated, I remember saying like I wish it was just over. Yeah. <laughs> the, the the waiting the waiting is hard. Just, just the, take off the band aid. Yeah, I mean to, to be honest, the waiting is hard. But then I think two weeks is too short though. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> I mean at least give give them like one one like one set of handshakes, right? Yeah. Like the Kato need, fans you, can't say goodbye. Yeah, you need one to go and cry over the shock of the announcement, and yeah. then you need one to like say goodbye. Actually, actually collect yeah, yourself yeah. and say goodbye. Yeah. yeah. But this is like, whoops, bye guys, and like th- clearly they've known this for a while because they didn't put her in the in the Senbatsu for the Tokyo Dome City concert. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And she wasn't the new team end center. Yeah. And everyone was expecting her to be the new team end center. And ha- Hasa Actually, was put on top of her. You mean in, in terms of position? Yeah, in the in the calendar. Uh, right, so that... Because, like, every um, January 1st is a reset for anime. So yeah. they reset all the positions. And Leona wasn't really high. Imagine that, though. Like, someone's graduating and then you're still below them. <laughs> well yeah right yeah, at least yeah. you know you're gonna move up in a few weeks <laughs> <laughs> oh so so much optimism jeff <laughs> silver lining yeah, I, yeah. I, okay yeah i think yeah, i think sucks. i think like sucks it, it sucks yeah still has so much to live for kind of like the same like our kind of argument we we're talking about like Amimaru her graduation like, still had like so much potential I don't know to be honest like I think Leo- Leona's, still, Leona's like way bigger Su- deal she than actually had Amimaru. success yeah she was Amimaru, Amimaru was like in our at least in our eyes wasted potential from the beginning when she yeah. didn't, wasn't pushed so yeah. it's different yeah alright so then yeah let's move on to this I guess was added uh, Yamato Mikana has gone on hiatus. Yeah. When, when was, was this, this announced? Like, was this during last December? Like, no, 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 no. So it was last, last, last this week? week or something. Okay. After she heard our podcast. Yeah. She was <laughs> so shocked. It's like, Matt hates me. Hey, Ryan hates you too. <laughs> <laughs> I, was never, I was never her fan, so it's okay if I hate her. That's true. I like Mikana. I actually still like Mikana. Like, I thought she was disappointing last year, but maybe maybe she's actually sick. Yeah, or she's gonna use like this like break to kind of you know maybe recover, get her stuff together, and maybe yeah. come back stronger. It's a it, for physical or mental health. It's like yeah, a good recharge. thing, yeah. refresh or whatever they call it. it. It's good though that like NMB gives the option for taking breaks now. Yeah. Like who, who's on break or so like Kotone went on a long break. And then uh, Amimaru went on break. Amimaru went on break. Hinacho is still on break. There's and someone else. Uh, Manati. Uh, yeah. Uh, Yudi went on break. Yudi Do we know? Break. Wait, if, with Manati, is it like a? It's a physical health issue, right? Yeah, it is a physical health issue. Um, I I don't think she's officially on break, but she's unofficially on break. Mm. But like Mikana is officially on break. And she got replaced in the Senbatsu concert with Anon. So you know, like, how, how was they're it, ranking the... Was it Anon mm-hmm. or... Yeah, it's okay, Anon. Yeah, 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 Suchan was the new addition. Suchan was always Yuri. there. Yeah. Yeah. Because... Because boobs. Handsh- <laughs> boobs lead to handshake sales. I guess, yeah. 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 Alright, yeah, so I hope, hope it kind of, you know, gets better soon. Hopefully, don't have like her. Like she comes back and then graduates, you know, a week later or whatever. I mean, that's happened before. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. So next, um, this happened last year, after our last uh, regular podcast. I think like news. like a week after or something. It was it was yeah. really short. It, yeah, it was really short. Um, and that is uh, a new unit from NMB48 to replace Queen Tet and Danceable. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> those, those inactive groups, dead groups, you know. <laughs> and that is uh, Lapis Arch. Lapis Arc? Is it Arch or Arc? Is it French? Arch. 
Um, I guess. I, they're, they're pronouncing it as arch because uh, in Japanese it's uh, rapisachi. Rapisachi. Yeah. But maybe in English it would be like the French would be lapi, lapiak and tibble. <laughs> I hope we don't have any French listeners because we're just I mean, like we have uh, Hachi, Hachiko. Show. Yeah, Hachiko and Coco. <laughs> Coco Chan. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so this is a new unit of three members and co- consisting of Umiyama Kokona, Junishi Rei, and Yamamoto Ayaka. Yeah. Um, Ayaka is like your, your fifth. Oh, they yeah. actually have a center decided. Yeah. Well, like all the songs was ion centered. So, uh, so Matt, yeah, how this... did they? How did it happen? <clears throat> happen? Oh yeah. So they did like this. Announced it as like a special tenth anniversary kind of show or whatever. Yeah. In, in it, was the, on, the, it was on a Sunday the night. In, yeah. In the, in the theater. theater, it's like, hey, here's a preview. What's to happen in our tenth anniversary in the next year or whatever? Yeah. And so I guess. Uh, Show happened and announced Lapis Arc. Yeah. And everyone was like, the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think there might have been something <clears> like, you know, some people probably might have been happy for a new unit, but I guess definitely if you promise like, oh, 10th anniversary. So if you were like a Kojirin Oshi, right? Or yeah. Like, oh, yeah, it's going to be a 10th anniversary thing. So Kojirin is definitely going to be there. Saika is going to come back. <laughs> Milky is going to come back. You know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I mean, it, it's probably not that extreme, but like people were on that track, right? They were thinking, yeah. "Oh, it's gonna be like all of NMB. There's gonna be a special show, whatever." Yeah, you were saying like people like use like their ninety eight tickets or hundred tickets yeah. to get into this. Yeah. <laughs> Which I mean, if it was the end of the year, it probably wouldn't have been too bad anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe they were using the end of the, the end of the year ones. Yeah. 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 But still, yeah, kind of a bait and switch. I mean, I hear, I heard there were like people holding other members Uchiwa in the theater, and then now they're like, "Oh, I have to hide this." I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone was complaining. Like I was talking to the the Kohona community head guy, and he was saying like, "Oh, like this, it was really embarrassing." Mm-hmm. And yeah, and it was also frustrating for the fans of those girls too. Because they didn't know. Yeah, they could have gone in. Or yeah, if they knew, right? They, they would gone, have gone bigger, gone harder. Yeah. Yeah. So, kind of a mess. Yeah. Also, it, it, it was, was it, it was it was super botched. The it whole was thing. also the day before the danceable live. <laughs> Took away all the thunder from. Dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff's like so like bitter about this. Like, what, what was the the ninth anniversary one? Like the 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 MC that killed killed the crowd. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> the hey, maybe long Jeff, MC maybe, maybe like, no, you saw. at some point maybe they just don't want to watch or dance alone. No, it's just it's just we're just showing you all the obstacles we can get over. <laughs> but yeah so this this was like lapis arch was like super botched like even afterwards they were like they were like the the comments from the members were like oh uh, i understand like there's a lot of um discussion going on about <laughs> this announcement but so i hope you will support us blah 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 yeah, it was it was stupid. They shouldn't have done that. Yeah, but I mean, they are like already like you know getting the ball rolling with activities and stuff. So they already announced their first. Yeah, they're concert. they're like way more active than danceable. Yeah, because they're following. pushed. That push. <laughs> hey, danceable like, got their units. own. Danceable got their own YouTube channel, man. So how many views do they have? After like fifteen videos on the main <laughs> channels. <laughs> I'm gonna go on YouTube right now, and I'm gonna check how many views Danceable yeah. has on their own channel. Not, not, uh, not like people who click for like ten seconds and close it. Yeah. Wait, where's the Danceable yeah, channel? Yeah, they're following the in the See, footsteps of Queen Ted. I searched and Danceable, like... and it didn't even show up. You yeah, do it in Karakana, it's in Rome, or whatever. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. Danceable Official has 4,600 followers. Hey, that's that's more than Number Hatch. Number one. <laughs> oh, okay. How many of those, how many of those are bots, though? <laughs> uh, 
And the, the the dead Queen Tet channel has the dead Queen Tet channel has three hundred thirty six thousand followers. How many of those are are bots from Ocarians? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she did she didn't promote the channel on her thing. Yeah, but she has like like Akari has a seven hundred thousand followers. Seven hundred thousand. Yeah, she so. she her, she's nuts. Not a, not a high attach rate. Oh, Queen Ted is thirty three thousand, not three hundred thirty. Oh, okay, thirty three thousand. Yeah. Damn it! <laughs> I was reading it wrong. I know. I thought only, it was. I, only I thought it was nine, Only I nine times man. more, not ninety. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. But the the yeah. most viewed video on the channel is Akarin's Zipper, which has thirty five three hundred fifty five thousand views. Is that is that Queen Ted or Akarin? No, that's Queen Ted. Akarin's most viewed cha- most viewed video is like the one with Sayaka. Yeah. All right. I thought the zipper was on her like her music video. Oh no, it's a different one. one. It's a, this is the live version okay. of Zipper. Oh okay. I thought, yeah. So Akarin's actual, on her channel. Akarin's actual most viewed. Yeah, it's five million views. Like the Sayaka make thing, makeup thing. Yep. Which is nuts. Holy shit! It's like a power. Yeah, I, I think I, Akarin's talked about it before, like how how it's kind of upsetting that <laughs> her most viewed <laughs> video is Sayaka. I think Sayaka even said it was upsetting because I mean, having that. Oh, because video her own video, her. her own channel doesn't have that many views. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like Sayaka's crazy though. Like, Sayaka's most viewed video on her channel is twenty three million. Holy fuck! Really? Is it uh, is it her Get, uh, Yuki? Take Koi? a guess. No, no. It's super obvious. Joker. Though. If I tell Joker. you, it's gonna be super obvious. No, Se- Joker is the second most viewed video. One point oh, six shit. million. Uh, this is a weird digression, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a uh, three sixty five. Is it the preview oh. clip of her... no? It's three sixty five. Of her Tokyo and HK Hall music video DVD. No. Because I'm in it. <laughs> no. No, one, no one gives a shit about you, man. <laughs> Meanwhile, our YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a couple followers in the break. We got like two more followers. We got two. Two. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, subscribers. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. I was like our most like highest view video recently was like the the Yuri graduation one because I, mean, I just put the pictures like the, the ultimate like <laughs> clickbait you know, even though it's because like he even said like uh, Takumi he like he started watching it yeah. he started listening to it he's like hey I found you guys podcast yeah <laughs> <laughs> he was saying he was asking me like what so why is it the the, the concert playing. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that that was that was. A I mean, it was clickbaity, but also I wrote like NMB Takoyaki Party like over it. So yeah, so it was, so we weren't really. But it's all in English, and like, I mean, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, back to Lapis Arch. So yeah, they're doing their concert on uh, February fourteenth, Valentine's Day, at Cool Japan Park, WW Hall. Yeah, it's the same biggest one. Place WW Hall. That's is not the, the same place. One. Yeah, it's not the same place. It's what Quinta did theirs last year's, right? No, 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 no. They did it with Nampa. Would never, would, Queen Ted would never do such a small venue. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the following in Queen Ted, because they had to, hey, Queen Ted did a Valentine's Live last year. Yeah. So maybe we're going to get, you know, Juban Shobu special live at the theater, maybe in April. They, they, they're they're trying to speed run. I, th- I think Lapis Arch is trying to speed run Queen Ted. Yeah, they got, you know, you got to make up for like, our lost damages. You know, we lost our... Yeah. Core group or core subunit group. Yeah. So they're gonna they're gonna uh, <clears throat> so gonna they, they will definitely fill up. It's a it's their first concert, right? So they yeah. will definitely fill that up. It's like a thousand thousand five hundred, I think. WW Hall. Yeah. It's more like two thousand. Is, <clears throat> is it? Yeah. Let me check right now. But it's like a very different uh like fan base from like Quintet. You know, Quintet is all like mostly girls, whereas Lavis Arg is mostly like. Lolicons, I think. <laughs> uh, oh, no, it's yeah, only, it's, it's definitely... It, see? 11,000... Or, sorry, 1,144. See? It's, it's super small. 
round up. Yeah. <laughs> but it's really nice though. I, I've been inside. It's super nice. Yeah. yeah. So it's like it a, a, it's pretty brand, pretty new. Like it's super like new. Yeah. Like it's, when, I Keren, Keren, when I went to watch yeah. it for Keren, when I went to watch Keren, it like. It smelled new. Oh no no no! It yeah. was uh, no, Manabuku. for the Manabuku. I was yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. It, it smelled, smelled like new, new new chairs. Yeah, new carpet. Yeah, it's that uh, when you buy a new car, it's like it smelled like that. Yeah, pine tree scent or whatever. No. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> yeah. So it's Labs Arc. Check them out. Uh so let's move on to our bullshit corner. <laughs> the, the bullshit corner. Yeah, so we alluded to this last time on our last podcast. Uh, we talked shit. Showroom. We talked shit about it. Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then everyone got into it. <laughs> yeah, we we inspired people to get into it <laughs> somehow. <laughs> Counterproductive work. So yeah, as we talked about, you know, so this is the Tokyo Girls Collection, you know, fashion show produced by Nakamura. Nakamura. Nakagawa. Nina Gawa Mina. Nina Gawa Miwa, Mina, which is so, super uh, super famous. Um, Mika Mika director. She, yeah. she she made uh, heavy, heavy rotation, rotation fame, yeah. heavy yeah. rotation, sayonara crawl, <clears throat> Nagawa Kenji, etc. Yeah. etc. Yeah, so they did like you know a series like uh, it was probably like, what like three weeks or so worth of like showroom contests, mm-hmm. in different age groups, five different age groups, twenty two and up. Yeah, um, and all like forty eight group competed in it. Yeah, but and um, NMB NMB take the NMB takeaway tactically from tactically did it did it tactically I guess. Yeah, because I think we even had more members registered for each. Yeah, and age everyone group, dropped and out. They dropped out, and then just like, hey, yo, just focus fire, put everything on in. Yeah, more there was only one member per age bracket, except the oldest except one. The oldest one. <laughs> Yuki yeah. Tsun was still around, and she and she, she didn't it. make it. Yeah. 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 So yeah, in the twenty-two and up age, uh, Uno Mizuki got first yeah. place, which is kind of a surprise. Yeah, yeah. Like a big, big surprise. And the thing is, like, everyone was like, kind of like found it funny yeah yeah <laughs> because it was the first thing that she ever like showed emotion in yeah. <laughs> there's like a video of her crying and stuff yeah it was like oh my god she's human <laughs> she's not a deer yeah and then, <laughs> yeah so and miki won and i think she won by a lot actually yeah i mean miki yeah. is someone like all of all nmb fans can get behind because it's a, like it's funny <laughs> to troll the other groups it's yeah. kind of like uh like you know like homecoming or prom queen where like you vote for like the really nerdy person to win <laughs> <laughs> yeah give it's, them their, it's that, it's their that 15 goth, minutes of it's that goth that sat, sat sits at um the back all the time yeah all four years uh okay and then moving on we had uh in the 20 to 21 age bracket we had Shimizu Rika, Rika T yeah, and was she, the winner. She barely won, actually. Yeah. She won by like 80,000 points. It was ridiculously small. And. Yeah. Yeah. So this was the start of like uh, NMB basically like dominating the competition. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Let's, let's keep this trend going. You know, let's like get first place or whatever. Yeah. And then like. And it was like mostly. At least for the, the latter half, I think they started like building up. Like, they got a really high like lead with. Free points, you know, stars and yeah. counts. Yeah. So, j- just to explain, right? Like with showroom, right? There, there's something called points, yeah. where like you have free, yeah. say stars. So you have free stars where you can throw it, throw, and then you get you like add, 99 add points to the room. You get 99 per per R, basically. About 500 or so, because you get each color. You know, you get yellow. Ah, yeah, yeah, red, yeah, yeah. yeah. Green, you get 500, or... 400, whatever, 500 points every R. 495, yeah, yeah. But then it's 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 fucking hard to earn points. Like, it's so it's, such it's a like pain. a whole system where like yeah. yeah, you can only earn them like so many per hour. Yeah. Uh, you have to like go into other like lurk into other people's streams, get your 10 stars from that. Yeah. Leave, go find another stream, do that. Kind of repeat thing. Yeah. So there's a whole like system where you can like theoretically like contribute like fifteen hundred points or something per per session per session. Yeah, not counting like the bonus, like the ten times bonus or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So basically, there's, there's a whole system of free to get free points, and it's really based on how well the members understand it and can can convince their fans to follow it. Yeah, yeah. and, and so then, they'll do so yeah. by like arranging so, their schedule to be like. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna do like a twenty-minute stream every two hours or something, you know, 
to stagger their streams because you only do like three hours max per day. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why they had to split it. Like, um, they had to do Two like. Ways. So basically, there's a limit to how much you can earn. I think per session. Yeah. Also, oh, there was also like can... the comment points. So if you yeah. comment once, it's one point, but you can only get fifty comments. Yeah, your first fifty comments get points. Yeah. yeah so people just do a comment of like the count one, two, three. Yeah. It doesn't show up like in the main chat log. It does show up like on the screen, but it is yeah. It counts. So it's not a whole lot of spam or like random numbers. Yeah. In the normal chat log, but yeah. So yeah. It's and yeah. it be kind yeah. of kicked us off. So yeah, the next in the eighteen and nineteen age bracket. This is Hanukkah what and, this is the reason like Matt wanted to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but also like it's just an insane because she had like. She had like, like a, a 10, 10 million, million 10, 10 million lead. 10 million, I think at one point even like 12 million lead. Uh, and people were making fun of her because she was like, oh, me, uh, everyone, I'm, I'm so, I, I'm in danger. Like people are catching up to me. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fucking 10 million point lead. <laughs> it needs to be higher. <laughs> Let's keep it that way. It's going to be like in the NBA, you have a 50 point lead and you're like fucking like <clears throat> doing dunks and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, your whole, like, NBA, that's a pretty good analogy, like, the NBA analogy, like, because I feel like with these things, it doesn't matter how much your lead is, it could, could come down to, like, those last, like, that last stream, the last 30 yeah. minutes, where people just, like, drop in Millions. Tokyo Towers, castles, yeah. the whale, the whales come to yeah. home. So, yeah. those are the paid items, if people yeah. don't know. Yeah, so, yeah. With, with paid items, you can, you can, of course, there's no limit, right? You can, like, the, the limit is your bank account. <laughs> Oh wait! Or the, apparently, lo- or the loan agencies you can find. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently, like one of the reasons that like uh, UUE lost is that her Waters did not understand the system, right? And really, yeah. So that's no, surprising. No, no. So apparently, uh, per person, you can only buy uh, gold, um, two hundred thousand gold per twenty four hours. Oh, it's a it's so, an it's anti fraud thing. Yeah. Were they all trying to like? Like dump it in back. on the last day. Yeah, and yeah. Of course, they were like, "Oh, I'm just, I'm just gonna do it on the last day, right?" And then they found out that you can't buy more than two hundred thousand. The flagship AKB yeah. doesn't even get this right. I think, the, I think the, the the biggest like the biggest fight was uh, in the next one, seventeen to eighteen, because that had yeah. like heavy hitters. Yeah, that was uh, so Kobayashi Arena. She won. Yes. And, uh, yeah, back in this bracket, we had, like, what, Tanaka Miku? Tanaka uh, Miku. To, uh, uh, what's her face? Horsey face. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, yeah. And, like, one other girl. I forgot her name. Probably STU. Oh, shit. Because there was four of them, like, taking it seriously. Yeah. No, 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 no. The, the Korean girl. Oh, she tell me. She's she's not Korean. She has she was on produce. Fuck! If you go to her if you go to her showroom, it's all Korean. It's like I I, like no no joke, right? I I knew I knew she was like producing everything. It was like, but like I was like entering random rooms to get to get stars and shit. So it's like, huh? I didn't know there was a Korean showroomer. (laughs) Oh shit! This is the AKB girl. Yeah, that's always like the really fun thing. It's just like going to the Ram showrooms that like you go in the farm points. It's like all these like random like chica idols and stuff. <laughs> and when they read your name, with, when with, you with go only in. like fifty, with only like ten people inside. Yeah, it's kind of like awkward, but it's like, like hi, I'm passing through for stars. <laughs> yeah, bye. I, I remember Takumi telling me that like he entered like one room and then he he threw one star. He accidentally threw one star. And he got on the podium. (laughs) (laughs) Holy shit, what did I do? (laughs) Oh, yeah, that's what I liked about the... Because, like, all the interview was behind these other members. And so, I think Anshu did a stream just to help people farm stars. Yeah. And so, like, she said it to, like... Actually, her comment was, like, don't throw stars at me. And she said it to, like, be a poll. Yeah, all the interviews. No, everyone did that. Yeah, yeah. I think Anshu didn't understand at first. Yeah. She didn't know how to do the the, the poll thing. Yeah, so they had a teacher. But I think like Yahagi like actually did a proper showroom. <laughs> yeah, no other other this. other AKB girls were doing proper showrooms, which is yeah. like fucked. Because like, like, I think all yeah, I did was like, 
yeah, farm the stars here, farm the stars here. But then yeah. AKB was like, okay, give me your stars. <laughs> yeah, but I think like Yahagi was doing the same time as like Tanaka Miku, and like they're like supposed to be close friends. <laughs> so I just kind of fucking her over. <laughs> Does Yahagi really have friends? Apparently, I guess they're really, really close. <laughs> she doesn't have any friends. Anyway, yeah. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, last in the 16. So and, this was the victory uh, lap. Yeah. <laughs> this was, this was uh, NMB's biggest hitter. And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Coconut. Coconut's going to win. No one gives this a This is like the one I didn't even contribute at all. Yeah, yeah me too. I didn't, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't contribute for other reasons. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, have you, have you. Salty yeah, Jeff. Like... Salty Jeff. This is like Solid Snake. Salty Jeff. I, I, I had, because uh... <laughs> I had like I had proper reasons. One, I was in the U.S., so like the time zones were all messed up. And then two, I was like, yeah, it's Coconut. Like, she's going to win. She doesn't need it. Yeah. Even though I like her, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I watched like a bunch of her shows. Like one time, I I watched her show and I gave her stars and comments and everything. And then Rina she started up. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, there was like some overlap, so it'd be kind of yeah. mess, like it get kind of messy sometimes. Yeah, but like I mean, she 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 dominated. Although she didn't dominate to the level that Harakaren did. No, no one did. Yeah, I think if you look at the total points, like it's ridiculous. I think like top seven for for the Rinachi's group could have been like basically if you took Anyone. the top ten of all points, the like seven seven of the members from the seventeen to eighteen group would make it in top ten. Oh wow! Yeah, like Coconut's group was like the point totals were so really low. Because, like, she was doing so well, and everyone else was doing so shit. Mm-hmm. And, like, no one gave a sh- no one cared anymore. Yeah, but you also had, like, members of the same group, like, kind of fighting over positions. They, they yeah. didn't do the divide and conquer, like... Yeah, and NMB, NMB was the only one who did that. And I think we were criticizing, uh, like, SKE when they did it for yeah. Pop Dean. Yeah, yeah, exactly I mean, what happened is... We all learned our lesson. Yeah, and then we learned their lesson, and they did it the same, <laughs> the same way. We but, dominated. yeah, it was really funny, like... I, I was, like, going through, like, the Discord, like, the International Fan Discord. Boy, everyone was like, upset. The album was really... Who, yeah, who are kinda, these yeah, girls? Kind of salty. Salty about, well, NMB made is not fun, so, okay, we have to, like, get our, like, our second and third place, oh, she's in. <laughs> like, it was really funny. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 a numbers game, right? Like, yeah. So apparently, like the other girls, like they weren't familiar with how showroom worked. So that's how that's how we got a big lead over them at first. Yeah. Because they were just you know learning. The they were just similar. learning, right? And then their yeah. their authors were trying to teach them. It's like scrubs versus like pro esports players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, showroom like, esports. Like Xion kind of started this whole thing. Yeah, yeah. With... She, she joined. She joined one of the showroom contests like a long time ago, like a year plus ago. Yeah. And then, like, she learned everything, and then she would she would teach all the girls how to do it. Yeah, because like even like with Pop Teen, you know, yeah. it was the one SK member, and then the rest was N and B was in the top six or top five. So yeah, it's pretty good actually. Yeah. We got this down to a science. Basically. I guess the whole criticism of like N and B is like, yeah, we can only win if it's like a free competition or like you know money's not involved. Okay, it's free, free and paid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like, yeah, we, well, why don't you guys actually like rank in in the Simbatsu, you know, the actual real competition. <laughs> Didn't we? That kind of... So thank you. Yeah, like, I, I think Sayaka was like, Sa- 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 was, well, like number five or something. Or her four. highest, yeah, I think, was four. I think four. Four, four I think. Five, highest of four. Five. Whatever. She got pretty but high. But it's like... Yeah, also, yeah, the <laughs> fans were like saying, yeah... Yeah, I can't wait for a real comp, like a real event. We know this. Like, this is all bullshit. Anyway. A real event, like yeah. it's all different flavors. Money. Different flavors of bullshit. Yeah, it's all bullshit. Really. Yeah. Even Senkyo's bullshit. Right? Like, why? I, yeah. Why are you like um, holding Senkyo up as this like special? Yeah. Bullshit? Why are you buying so, thousands of copies of a CD? Because yeah. it's televised on national television. No, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it didn't even happen last year. Yeah. Uh. The yeah. I think mean, it's just because, like, you know, NB, like, we always, like, we only get, like, what, five, six members actually rank in out of, like, the top hundred. Yeah. You know? So, that's kind of, like, why we're not. You never know, like, if, if they yeah. brought back Sankyo or whatever, but we, we yeah. might do well. But I hope they if don't. It was, I if mean, it was actually, I hope Sankyo. they would. I hope they would because <laughs> I, I am free from that bullshit. You don't I, have to do it. No. Yeah. <laughs> don't pass that curse on to me. 
you have to experience you have to experience no. like the boxes coming on the day and you opening all of them and like yeah. voting until the middle of the night no fuck <laughs> and then like buying tickets for members you don't give a shit about because you just want to <laughs> ah, no. get more votes i didn't do i don't do that no <laughs> because pure, uni has enough slots uni. so i could i could buy enough for her yeah uh yeah so yeah that was the showroom aftermath yeah so good job and be members and be fans really victory for gaming the system all right so moving on from one bullshit to another bullshit we got mahjong back mahjong, mahjong 2 yeah so jeff tell us electric about boogaloo <laughs> <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> as i mentioned there's been month we talked about this briefly last month there's been monthly Oshi competitions in the Ma- NMB Mahjong app where the top two members will get to um, have their commercial aired on TV. Uh, yeah, and Chihi was fighting it out last month with Amimaru and Kokona. But Kokona had, as I mentioned, Kokona had already won a previous month. But then she, for some reason, some of her will just decide to go for it again. Yeah. But in the end, they let up and Chihi finished in second. Yes, that's that's the key. That's the key, Jeff. They let up. <laughs> yes, you didn't beat but, them. But but if you look at the scores, it's like one point five times that of the previous month. So we would we still held our own, yeah. and we were in first at one point, even over Amimaru. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, you, but the you other... guys almost you guys almost almost beat Amimaru. And Amiwaru yeah. had like all the kinky say about uh, supporting her. Yeah. To be fair, we, we have to thank the Momone and Koji and Oshis. Yeah. yeah. And I think but, um, this month it's going to be like Uka and someone. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's weird this month now because there's also the, the Oshiman competition is still going, but there's also the new one with the Hawaii ambassador yeah, thing. Yeah, talk about the Hawaii thing, because yeah. like, I've seen it, but I, don't, I still have no idea. So basically, is. there are three apps, the NMB Mahjong app, and then SKE and STU also have their own games, but they're all made by the same developer. Mm. So they made this joint event where um, the top three members from each group are going to be like this travel ambassador to Hawaii. And... Currently this month, it's like the preliminary round where the uh, top seven members from each group will make it in. Mm. Um, so right now, NMB is killing it. NMB has eight members in. And then they're all like head of the SKE and SD- STU third place members. So right now, it's like Ray Chan, Uka, and Ayan at the top. And then... The five others from NMB are kind of battling it Where's out. Where's Kokona? <laughs> I don't think he joined. Koko didn't, Kokona didn't join. Like it could have been Lavis Orc <laughs> going <Yeah>. to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, they should, have, they should have done that. Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's, like, overlapping. So what's funny is that Originally, Chihi Oshis like were supposed to support Uka this month, but now we have to fight for Chihi because yeah, she traitors. somehow fell back into eighth mm. right now. So, so how do you know? Playing. How do you know? How do you know if you're joining the Hawaii contest or the other one? Or is it the same? They had to. The members had to tweet with these four hashtags. I mean, that's fine. I'm saying. Yeah. What if a member joined both? Oh. The points are counted separately. So, like within the app, the points are counted for the Oshi event one way, and they're actually there's actually this multiplier for the Hawaii event <clears throat> to make it even among the three different apps. So let's say Ray Chan's first in Hawaii, right? But then yeah. if she's first in Hawaii. Wouldn't she be automatically first in the uh, CM? Uh, it's possible she's not. But like are the points split? Basically? No, there's like a weird multi different multiplier between the two different modes yeah but the they mahjong don't split app. right so if you earn if you earn points as in as you play mahjong you automatically earn points right and then you're playing so, as yeah. Rayshon. yeah so you automatically earn points for both yeah but you get more towards there's the a Hawaii. there's a slight difference in multiplier between the t- two different modes in the mahjong app so it's possible you win oh, okay that so you, you have, get so more there, points is there for like Hawaii. a Hawaii mode 
not no it's like the two different the 1500 point and the 20,000 point mahjong rounds yeah. the 20,000 one actually has a higher multiplier probably goes towards i one. guess because it takes longer to play that round yeah. and then it probably they probably multiply it higher to make up for that compared to the stu and ske apps uh-huh yeah it's really confusing it's just more bullshit yeah so the members go to hawaii is there like any kind of event for like fans to go uh it seems like it will be like, but there's no like no winners or no details like is that also a competition <laughs> No, players. no, no, no! You, no, you're no. probably gonna have to buy the like That's, the Guam yeah, shit. it's like the Guam thing. Hmm. Was the Guam member the Guam members the, that what the, was there a competition for that? No, no, no it that was, was like it was a lottery. Chosen. No, it, it was a it was a tourism JTB. thing for Guam. So yeah. it's different from this one. This isn't like a tourism thing. It was the like SDGs. This is like a Japan, yeah. Japanese. Yeah, was kind of tourism uh, plus thing. SDGs. Yeah, yeah. So the Guam thing was literally uh, like uh, the Guam Tourism Authority or something. Yeah, it's Guam and then yeah, like Japan, JTB was yeah. doing it. So it's different, but I they, think, they, I mean, yeah, it, I mean, it goes to follow, right? Like if if the members are going to be going to fucking Hawaii, then just send waters there, whatever. Yeah, for sure they're going to do something. Yeah. So then here's the question. Something. For Jeff, I know Ryan isn't gonna be shit because Yuri's not gonna be there. <laughs> Will you go to Hawaii for this, even if Chihi doesn't go? <laughs> only, on, only if Chihi goes. Only if Chihi goes. Okay. Yeah. So Matt, are you going to Hawaii? I would. You would to Hawaii for Coco- would, yeah. for like coconut or something. I, I mean, I'll just go because it's NMB in Hawaii. That'd be cool. I'll be too bitter if Chihi misses out, and which I think she will because it's only the top three in the. Next round. Yeah, so it's gonna be like Rechan, Ayan, and someone. Maybe Okuda. Maybe uh, just Su-chan. send Lapis Arch to Hawaii. Whatever. Yeah, everyone wants to see Su Chan and see Su Chan go there. Then then Andy would show up, sign up. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that, and that's that'd be my way in. Uh yeah. They're yeah, not gonna be wearing that. bikinis, man. I know. You can still. Yeah, I mean. You can still imagine. But I told I told Chihi. As an American, I want to bring her to Hawaii. So I have to live up to that. Oh, so you have to make her win. And pour some more U.S. dollars into this. <laughs> Contributing to the economy. All right. Yeah, so on that note, uh, we're going to take a quick break. And we'll be back in a bit. And we're back. So, um, in the new year, the NMB they did uh, their annual like special annual annual uh, theater show. I, I thought you said AOL. I was like, what does AOL? A- their mean? AOL <laughs> show, dial up show. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your disc, <laughs> install your disc into your computer, and you can watch the show. Um, yeah, so they did their show at the theater. It's kind of like the right kind of state of the union, the state of the NMB <laughs> kind of show where they, they kind of like update everything, the team lineups and everything. Yeah. Because you know, had a lot of graduations. It's a, it's a special and show which, that they do every yeah. year. Yeah. And so in this case, there was a lot of announcements, namely the promotions of the Kinkusei. Yeah. Promo- everyone got promoted. So Except for two? Except for two. But then both yeah. of them weren't around. So... Maybe they That's got why. promoted. <laughs> Maybe they got promoted and they just didn't announce it. Uh, Actually, yeah. you, you can see it from the uh, NMB website. Yeah. Anyway, so let's briefly go, go through the list of who got where. So in Team N, we have Kobayashi Arena, Sakamoto Nami, Sadano Haruka, Shobu Marin, and Yamasaki Amiru, a.k.a. Fake Amimaru. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then in Team M, we have Abe Wakana, 
Sato Ami, Sugiura Kotone, Deguchi Yuina, Maida Reiko, Mizubuchi Maria. And then in Team B2, we have Okamoto Reina, Ogawa Yuka, Nakano Mirai, Harakaren, Miyake Yuria, and Yokono Sumire. Yeah. Yeah, that's I think the, the biggest... most Japanese names you'll hear Matt read in, a, in yeah. order. <laughs> Kudor and Romani. <laughs> I think the biggest surprise was Reiko in M. Yeah. I, I, I think, think so. the biggest surprise was Sato Ami in M. Even though <laughs> well, actually, yeah. That's a pretty well. big surprise. <laughs> like, they should have, like, you know, kind of had her off to the side. Kind of like what they did with the, 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 sh- the shuffle when Keiichi... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's like Keiichi uh, Jonishike graduation. Yeah. Well, that was because the new teams wouldn't start until after she was gone. Yeah. But. Oh, uh, no, when they did uh, Sokaku, um, was it Maokyun? Uh, Kodomin didn't get a team. Oh, 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 oh. 20, this year, 2019, yeah. 2019, yeah. And she was still around. Yeah. Well,. Yeah, so, yeah, so the reason, yeah, we're talking about Amimaru, Amimaru Minute, officially. Yeah, Amimaru Minute. Oh, she has 10,000 TikTok followers. She has 10,000 TikTok followers. <laughs> I just saw you that can, on you Twitter. Can be, you can be the 10,000 first TikTok follower yeah. if you're listening right her, now. Follow her, her, like, the, the I can be red, I could be yellow thingy blew up, apparently. Oh, did it? Yeah. Um, I mean, she's cute, so. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah so... She announced her graduation in the last month. Kind of surprise, big surprise. And Not then, really. yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then, yeah, it's been announced that her graduation stage will be January 30th. It's after it's Riona's. <laughs> after Riona's. <laughs> announced before. And it's going to be with, uh, it's going to be the Yume Wani and I stage. It's not even Team M, because I guess that won't be started yet. Because it was announced while she was still Kenkyu Yeah. 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 And to be honest, you would rather. I'm sure she would rather do yeah, that. Yeah, that, that makes more sense anyway. Yeah. Yeah. She's, like she, she's not really like close yeah. friends with the uh, Team M girls. But and yeah, the the pr- promotion is really just like a symbolic thank you to her. And if they're gonna <laughs> if they're gonna like promote everyone too else, too little, like, too late. They can't really they can't really just leave her behind, right? Yeah. I mean, they could. <laughs> yeah. They could, but it look, it looks so bad. They left the other two behind. Yeah, they well, they that's... left they left Hinacho and Manati behind, so that's completely because they're on break right now. Yeah. Uh, any comments about the the team placements? I'm personally upset about Harakaren being in B two. Yeah, that, that's like one of the she, weird. She feels like she could have been like you know. A better fit in because she kind of had like the you know, the goofy personality. I mean, are are they still going for the are they still going for the the themes? Because like the team N theme basically got ruined because everyone quit. Yeah. So like M and B two, I guess, could still keep their theme. Yeah, the kind of lolicon. Like B two is the lolicon group, and then M is the yeah. the weirdo group. I mean, it's still there, except N N doesn't have the the, the star power. It's not the star power group anymore. Although, although I, I mean, out, okay, are, out, of, out of the out of the the, I think you say some of the top ones are there, like Hasa, and formerly Riona. Yeah, I mean, yeah. If if Riona and Hasa were still there, like you could still say they were like the mm. the star group. I guess like uh, they want they want to make Anon. I don't I don't know. I. Yeah. I I, I wish they'd stop with Anon. I don't think I don't think she's gonna blow up or anything. That's my opinion. I, I don't know. Yeah. No, my mild surprises is like yeah, Mirai in B two. Yeah, she thought felt she, like she feels M, right? Yeah, I thought she would follow the footsteps of her sister. Her sister. <laughs> um, like Reiko, Reiko in M, I think was the biggest surprise for me, like for everyone. Yeah, yeah. because she, she she's always like, been yeah. N. Yeah. yeah, she was like Shonichi. She was Shonichi N. Yeah, that's right. Actually, of the is Shonichi it... girl, she was the only one who survived. She, did... I think she went on the tour too. Yeah, I think the other one was Marin, and what's the fuck? What's the third one? Anyways, 
Uh, I think it's Sado. I don't know. No, 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 no. I think it's Nami. Uh, I think it's Nami, yeah. So, I guess all of them got into N. Marin, Marin and Nami was N. And, like, Sado and Haruka was N too. So, like, only Reiko got moved to N. I don't even know if it's good for Reiko because oh Reiko also won Theater in the Megami. Yeah, good. Are we her. are we talking about that? Yeah. yeah, just to mention that's like the award they give to the member who appeared in the most theater shows. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all it's all Kenkyu though, and and, and yeah. it's not it's not yeah. a fair competition. No, no one's claiming it's a fair competition, but <laughs> it's not a fair competition because like there's so many Kenkyu stages. Mm-hmm. And if you and, do Namba I, yeah. and you do, and you sub do, uh, like, Reiko was she's like... in all three teams, right? Yeah. She's in all three teams. She does Namba I, and she does Genkyusei, right? So basically all five shows she can appear in. And she, like, killed the whole thing. Oh, you want to guess who's the bottom? The very least bottom. Least appearances? Uh, if, you, if you discount, like, graduations and stuff, of course. Akarin, Akarin, yes, she had twenty-two <laughs> appearances, and Reiko was like three hundred or something like that. No, oh, it was no, like one hundred sixty, one hundred. Yeah, that that was that's, that, that's still a lot. Yeah, that's like three a week. Yeah, Reiko, Reiko was one hundred sixty. Akarin was twenty-two. <laughs> hey, YouTube takes a lot of time. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I think the next one was uh, Yuri and Miru tied at like thirty eight. Which I mean, it's pretty common you know, for your top members. If you're a top member, you don't really show up. In the you theater. don't. You don't need to show up at the theater. It's not. It's not. That you don't need to. Like, I mean, NMB is busy. Like, much better at like show, getting members to show up. But yeah, yeah, you're too busy to show up at the theater. Still, Akarin has twenty two. You know how many how many shows Yukirin has has done in AKB? <laughs> I think it was like oh, one a year. Doing more recently. Yeah, she's that, that was a big deal, right? <laughs> she's been yeah, doing she, more theaters. She has to pace herself to stay until thirty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's too tiring. One, one whole one whole stage is too tiring for her. Uh, yeah. So that was the one. That was the promotions. Yeah. yeah, promotions. Uh, the other one, of the other big announcements is they're gonna start taking auditions, doing auditions for oh, yeah seventh seventh gen. generation. And there's something uh something applications for that until February seventh. They they they've been doing a lot, right? Like they, they they've been doing like interviews and shit. Yeah, with like uh, I think Akarin and Miru. So far, it's Akarin interviews. and Miru. Probably they're gonna do Saipi and Nagisa soon. Quintet. Yeah. Quintet plus meter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, I guess that's about right. I mean, yeah, I think, well. I think if they follow the pattern, maybe this is a little earlier than the uh, spring concert. Gen. Yeah, it's a little earlier than sixth gen because I think around this time was like D three. Yeah, it was D three. Yeah, and then and then the auditions for sixth gen was like May, May or June. I think it was June, yeah. And then they debuted in August, July, July. They they announced, yeah, they 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 what like, reveal the members. What, what's Hirome Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> reveal. Yeah, they yeah. did the reveal in July. Yeah, I was there when they did the reveal. I didn't know anyone. <laughs> it's like, who are these random girls? Just showed up. Yeah, although everyone was surprised at uh, Odan, Odan, Odan. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, Oda. Did she say Oda or Ota? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I saw like some comment. I guess someone was like saying like, it's they're like disappointed that it's not the fan selection. Oh, <laughs> like no. it's only management selection, which I'm like, that's not. That's terrible. Because I, I guess like SKE and STU have been doing it. Like yeah, the they do the selection. showroom bullshit, right? Uh, yeah, and then and then B refuses to do that. Yeah, I think it's yeah. I mean, yeah, like AKB did that for 16th gen. Yeah, no, yeah. no, that's it's terrible. Just a mess. Because like when we had the fan selection, that's how we ended up with like 24 draftees. Yeah, or whatever. So. <laughs> that's how we got Amimaru. <laughs> you make it sound like she's like a, a burden now. <laughs> I mean, she is. <laughs> Cut off dead weight. Yeah. 
Well, how did we get uh, Azusa? That was through post yeah, was management. Yeah, that yeah, was management. Management. Okay. Okay. yeah. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Azusa though. I mean, it, it turned out she was a bitch, but like, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as an idol, like she was, she was, she was pretty cute, and then she's you know, popular. She, she, she was popular. Yeah. She performed, she performed well, and then she she had she good, she guest um, appeared in Quintet. <laughs> yeah, touring yes, member. That's what. That's that. Yeah, she's like she's like the, that dude who replaced like Ringo Starr in like some of the uh, <laughs> Beatles concerts. But yeah. yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, you can't really rely on management all the time, right? Like they they have their misses, but then yeah, like they have like big hits too. But. Do you really trust Otaku, whose only judgment is through throwing they showroom can't... stars? Yeah, exactly. They gave, me, they gave me Rezu on showroom, yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm gonna vote for them. Yeah, they, 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 they called our, my name. Our... They called my name, so I have to vote. That's for our them. logic as well. <laughs> Why we OC people? I mean, if you look at it, like uh, NMB, NMB management chose Riona to be center for D3, and she was like, what fourth round pick in the draft. So they don't give a shit about your rankings and stuff. Yeah. This yeah, fans, they don't give a shit about you. This is like baseball, not basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Top picks aren't guaranteed to succeed. That's true. But, um, yeah, so I think, um, yeah, NMB management has their specific thing. And I, mean, I, I trust them. Like, look at 5th Gen. 5th Gen's like golden, golden generation. Yeah. Right, and then like sixth gen. Uh, I guess, like to be honest, I think sixth gen is kind of weak. They don't have like the superstar. Yeah, you have hard card. There's still, there's still time. <laughs> there's still time, but I think like uh, Momoka is pretty good. But then I, I don't, I don't see like center potential in her. Sorry, Ferris. <laughs> <laughs> But like I, I think I think she's gonna get really far. I just don't say, I don't think she's yeah. gonna be center. She's in the Senbatsu concert, right? Yeah, yeah. she is. Like and, in D three, in D three, I could see I could see like Leona and uh, Hasa be, being center. Actually, Mikana too. But like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see anything <laughs> from sixth gen like that. Maybe, but there, there's still a lot of time, right? They're still they're still pretty new. There's like a year and a half. So there's still time for them, but like yeah, so seventh gen. Let's see, let's see what's gonna happen. If there's enough, I mean, they they do these con, they they do this audition so much. Like I, I mean, aren't you gonna run out of girls? <laughs> <laughs> That's almost like the joke with like when they keep on adding members to the forty eight group. Like well, you guys are like run out. It's like a, it's like a it's like, like Amway or MLM. <laughs> with like five people to sell to. You're down. You're down line. Like you're yeah. gonna run out of people like in, ter- in terms of like the actual like Earth's population of people. The, Jap- the Japanese economy is running out of cute girls. Yeah. To extract. Yeah. From- yeah, sorry, I mean, from I Korea. mean, you can just go like really <laughs> young, right? I mean, that's the thing, right? You can just go really young, like, like for example, like twelve year old girls now, they were ten years old for sixth gen, so they couldn't join sixth gen. Yeah. Let's see. Let's okay. hope. Let's hope seventh gen has a uh, center type. Some star. Yeah, some stars. Uh, okay. So next we got. Yeah, actually, do you think we have any uh, any like siblings or any more siblings? siblings? <laughs> I mean, there there's probably some. Like, who has siblings? Akari has a younger sister. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna. But she's too old. Yeah, she's <laughs> too old. I know. Uh, who else has siblings? The third no, Oda, the, the third oh, Oda um, sister. Momone has a sister. <laughs> oh yeah. She always she always shows up in Momone showroom. Huh. And farts. What? <laughs> 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 Sounds like a sentence. I wonder. If, I wonder if there's going to be a surprise again because every every time we have like a surprise. Yeah. Uh, every time there's the always going to be a sister. Fifth yeah, gen D three and uh, sixth gen all had all had sisters. Come on, management. We need we need to rely on you. Yeah, we we need, we need more we need, nepotism. We need more nepotism. Maybe like a cousin <laughs> or something. Yeah, that, that's probably that's also pretty common too. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then let's move on. Oh, uh, one thing. One thing I want to yeah. say. Like seventh gen is gonna be the first gen that never met uh, Yamamoto Sayaka. Hmm. 
So how are they gonna be doing? You may want to get I. It's gonna be like I mean, maybe it's gonna be like some. Attempt. It's gonna be really weird though. It's gonna be like this like legend, this like legend, <laughs> like you, you just like hear You've about. Heard right? about in, it's like like Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <in> yeah, <the> <laughs> Luke Skywalker at the end of the Last Jedi. Yeah, yeah. I just uh, triggered Matt. Yeah. Um, last what? <laughs> uh, actually, I mean, they might meet her at the 10th anniversary concert, right? Yeah, assuming yeah, they, they yeah. debut, or they bring back Saika as a special judge. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, maybe I'm gonna be six... a judge. Yeah, that that probably makes sense. Probably. So, yeah, usually they bring in like you know a member as like on the panel of for auditions. And stuff. I think for sixth gen, was it sixth gen? They had the, yeah, Saika. Uh, they had the, the team Chi. captains as yeah. judges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So yeah, next on the list of announcements that happened, uh, Yushita Akari's Girls Spirit Fest. Yeah, it's gonna be on April 11th at Makahari. Well, so. it's actually connected though. You should talk about the other one first. And the other part, another thing is uh, NMB Spring Live yeah. on April 12th, In also Makahari. at Makahari. Yeah. Say. That's I think that's the entire NMB. So it's not just Senbatsu. Not like AKB. AKB only wanted to pay for Senbatsu. Yeah, yeah. But uh, cheapskates. But that Makahari, Makahari Messi is a shitty venue. Yeah, it's, it's a fucking terrible venue. Oh my god. Like when they, yeah, when they did a uh, eighth anniversary there. It was, yeah, and, it was and you know what? That was the best place to do it, in Makahari too. Like the event hall. I, yeah. I've seen a concert in the other hall. Oh really? And like where, where we do handshakes. The the dinosaur museum. Oh, eight? Yeah, yeah. They used hall nine to eleven. I've been there for twice. It was horrible. <laughs> yeah, because like there's no there's no elevation, right? Yeah, you can't see anything. Yeah, you can't even, you can barely even see the monitor from the way back. Yeah, but NMB also, will prob- probably probably only use they, one they, hall or something. They set up like risers and stuff. Yeah. No, no not so, not when they use hall nine to eleven. Yeah, okay. no. Uh, the one we watched, Matt, was in the event hall. So that one has uh has risers. That's an actual arena, isn't it? Yeah, but it's still terrible. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it is an actual arena, but it's terrible. That they have like circus and shit there. <laughs> I mean, no, that's not a joke. They actually do have circus. Well, oh, and like, isn't like a, a summer Sonic there too? Do they? Yeah, yeah they summer have Sonic. a lot of rock festivals there. The uh-huh. Kanto version, the Kanto Summer Sonic is in Makahari. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it's a terrible place to watch concerts. But you know, yeah. What are you gonna do? Yeah, <laughs> good. Dude. Pay more money. Like I think, like uh, Minigashi Minami's graduation concert is like the day before in Yokohama Arena, so that's probably why. Is it gonna be the same day as the? Uh, I, the I, I I don't remember. I know. I think it's in April. But I... Okay, so let's all uh, let's go let's go to the girls' fest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we don't know what it's gonna be, but Akarin is yeah. asking fans and fans to give her ideas Nagisa, Nagisa said she wanted to do magic <laughs> what? Nagisa ah uh, so, okay she, she she replied and she quote tweeted Akarin announcing the thing she said I want to do magic <laughs> and then Akarin replied and said do you know magic and she says I can learn <laughs> 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 be a, be a I'd, I'd watch it it's I, I'd watch stuff. I'd watch Nagisa do magic oh yeah here's uh yeah it's actually Minigishi Minami's graduation concert will be on the second so it's like a week before oh ah, okay not that anyone yeah. cares yeah <laughs> also I mean on the note of Nagisa kind of breaking news not breaking news but interruption uh uh her cat passed away oh Sadness. yeah that, that's yes. really sad uh, like, then there was like a kind of funny but also fucked up thing. Was, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that was like about that was the worst, worst, worst timing, worst timing ever. Poor case. <laughs> yeah, not a whole for some reason decided like a few hours after to tweet like, oh, by the way, I have four cats at home and I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> And then immediately uh, deleted it <laughs> once she realized. It's like yeah. I don't think she did it after though. I think she did it before. 
Oh really? I don't know the exact time. I, it was, well, but like, it was when, the same when day. The news broke out. When yeah. the news broke out, and when she posted that thing, it just yeah, yeah it just really bit yeah. poor timing. But then yeah. like, <laughs> was, was it like was it like Yuzuha or someone who also tweeted about their cats and said like? But then they also said like, oh, I love my cat, so I know how hard it is for Nagisa. Yeah, that yeah. that's Yuzuha. That's Yuzuha. Yeah. I mean, Yuzuha did it the correct way. Like Nanoha didn't yeah. know, so she was like. <laughs> Like, oh, I love my cats! Like, oh my god, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah, but then, but then Nagisa, like a few days later, also tweeted something. Like, she found this like cat statue that's like lying down and sleeping. Yeah, and she was like, she posted a video like trying to wake it up. Like, oh, the cat is, won't wake up, and then oh. everyone was like, uh, oh wow, <laughs> too soon. I mean, I mean, it's Nagisa's cat, so whatever. But yeah, she, she even yeah. like she she, she even like uh, had a song for her cat. <laughs> it's just like me, 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 or something. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I really liked her cat videos. Yeah, yeah, I go, I go, the whole like uh, like the cat school Neko Gakusho, where she's like trying to wake it up to make it go to school. <laughs> <laughs> and then like she's like calling the school office saying, Oh yeah, May May is sick today. And like May's like looking herself and she she like pat it, like, stop it, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> she she's like Nagisa's like really good in uh at content. Yeah. Except for Mobile May. Apparently she sucks. That's kinda of having that's that, really yeah. yeah. And handshake interactions. Oh, I think she I think she's good at handshakes. She's she's just not she just if she doesn't know you, that's it's just hard, right? Yeah. yeah. It's it's the same with everyone. It's hard if you don't know someone. Yeah. So there's that. Uh yeah, so Yeah, there. rest in peace, May. Yeah. Yeah, so there's those concerts happening in April. And then uh another thing to announce. This was not at the this is so that's that's it for announcements, right? For the from the New Year show. Was it? Uh yeah, because I think this next was thing was not yeah, yeah, that's it. It was announced later. Yeah. And it's uh, the costume, the NMB costume, so thank you, so costume election. That was like last week. It was really short, yeah, last actually. Week, yeah. Like, the whole thing is really short. It's only three days long, yeah. Yeah, so, I, uh, I forgot to vote. <laughs> yeah, me, me too, too. actually. <laughs> <laughs> We're all fake fans. Yeah. Yeah, cause then, and then, yeah, we're talking about this. So, yeah, they're basically asking, hey, tweet out your, what costume, your favorite NMB costumes on Twitter using the hashtag. Yeah. And then they were gonna reveal like the top sixteen during the concert at the at the Tokyo Dome. Was it top sixteen? I don't think so. Top, I think top one. one. Top one, maybe. Yeah, they're just gonna reveal it. And the top costume or costumes perform will be song. revealed. Yeah, they're gonna perform them. whatever that song is. What, what yeah. if what if like something stupid wins though? What if it's like, like Nagaichi? Yeah, Nagi I think or something? that's why they, I'm sure they can't vote based on like actual number of votes. It'll be like whatever is most feasible. Yeah. yeah, like logistics because, and stuff, yeah. Because if something ridiculous like, wins, like... If they did, like, uh, uh, water key. You may want like, dead body. Or water key. Yeah, <laughs> yeah or water Let's key. Let's get right? 16 guitars. <laughs> yeah, I would say that, yeah. Or, like, water key, 16 water key costumes, or priorities. <laughs> yeah, like, for example, if priority wins, like, holy shit, how are we going to do Everyone this? Everyone has a big wing, a big wing costume. <laughs> yeah, or like, or, like, one of the grad costumes, right? Like the 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 yeah, milky yeah, like yeah. the milky waruki grad costume. Like how the hell are you gonna yeah. do that? Unless they make like original costumes just for that, which they would not do. But yeah. that'd be they're they're doing this cool because they, they want did, content. They want easy content, right? Yeah. But it's uh, it's. I think it's a great idea because like NMB has like a lot of like um, iconic costumes. So we should answer yeah. this. What are your yeah, guys' so answers? what are your picks? I will answer first we, so should, you guys okay. can think. <laughs> my <laughs> answer... I, mean, I, know, I know I have mine written down too. Yeah, okay, my on. answer is Ha. That's yeah. like kind of the, the obvious one, right? Yeah, yeah it's a, a super obvious one. A lot of people voted for that. And it's, 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 it's the iconic enemy costume. And it's like... It, imagine it's like a random B-side. It's like, holy shit. Yeah. They spent so much they, money and effort it on it. They did it Kohaku... Though? Yeah. No, no, no! You're thinking about the Kohaku Ha version. I'm talking about the MV one, uh-huh. the video, the video. You know, on the boat with uh, it's Sayaka, Milky, and Yui Han in front. Isn't it? But isn't it the same one? They wore it to like the 
like Kohaku press conference. Oh yeah, they it's, did. It's like because the they... kimono with like leopard print and a tiger. Yeah, they they wore it at the conference, but uh, on the actual Kohaku, they wore a different one. They had a special uh, version with mm. uh, like Kamone Geeks version. Uh, they didn't sing. They didn't sing hot. Uh, Kohaku. They did uh, Kamone Geeks. That's actually a pretty good yeah. costume too, actually. Yeah. The the Kohaku. That's one. probably the one that's gonna win, right? I, I huh? assume that's I, the I, th- I think Ha's gonna win. Yeah, a lot of members picked Ha too. And um, they haven't worn Ha in a really long time because it's hard. Apparently, it's really hard to set up. Yeah. I mean, it's like kimono, right? So it's kind of... Yeah. It takes like five hours to get set up. I don't think it takes that long. But I think Ha's going to win. Anyway, so what's your answer, man? Uh, Q and Kyote. Yeah, oh, be. that's really good, too, actually. Yeah, like that, that's one of my... That was one of my choices, too. Yeah, like the polka dot dress. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, this is really colorful, really cute. Yeah. They they wore it recently in Queen Dead, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Queen Dead wore it. Yeah. But, um, and my also second pick for that one, if you didn't, if no one else said that was a good timing, I liked the, that one too. The the yellow ones, uh, yeah. Ah, oh. and yellow and like because pink. You're, you're a yellow because you're a lolly. I like right? yellow. Well, yellow is my favorite color, but also, I mean, yeah, I had that too. And then also, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like yeah, the, yeah, the colors, yeah, like the little shapes and circles and stuff on me. It's kind of like it pops out. Surprisingly, I think. Ayans was the best one out of all yeah. of them. Mm-hmm. She has the beret, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then the, the dress. Like a short dress. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think Ayan had the best one. Yeah. See? All right. We're turning into the Ayan podcast. <laughs> Not on my watch. <laughs> <laughs> Coconut. Coconut for life. No. We didn't even talk uh, about her solo show. Well, no, it's not happening yet. We, we, announced, were about last we announced week. it last time. They announced the yeah, title. We about last week, they yeah. announced the title. Oh. I can't read it. Something mochi, something. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Laugh, something, whatever. Laughing God. plums. Yeah. Uh, what's your yeah, what's your answer, uh, Jeff? Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, Boku, say Boku wa inai. <laughs> Boku I was gonna inai. say danceable to Troy. <laughs> Boku, which one? The the bikinis. <laughs> well those are good but the dress <laughs> the dress one like uh, the the, yeah, the, so the one milky like, wears is the one yeah it's, it's really good like on the the theater edition cover jacket right no 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 no, no. You're, you're thinking about like a dress this is like a, a dress 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 yeah it's like the purple is it, is it purple or pink? I think Milky's is pink. Everyone else is like light. Ah, yeah. Milky's pink. Everyone is purple. Okay. I'm trying to find it. Yeah. yeah. Yuri wore it once. Did yeah, Yuri wore it. Ayan wore it too. And Kokona wore it. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's like... They wore it by... Psychosonic. Uh, my backup... My other biased pick is Nyan. That's terrible. What the hell? The gray, the gray and pink dresses. Hey, that, sentimental that, that, that's, value. That's literally bias. Like I didn't choose. I didn't choose. Like, <laughs> Those kind of look like uh, uh, like old or kind of semi recent teammate costumes. Which it's one? like kind no. of based off of the. It does. It does look like a teammate costume. Yes. Yeah. The gray and pink. Yeah. It's based off like the old AKB stage they used to do. Uh, uh, should we go over like some of the member picks, like ones that you can recall? Like I think Sayaka, she said uh, Amagami Hime. Amagami Hime. Hime. And that's, yeah, that's like... everyone started choosing Amagami Hime after that. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. Because maybe Sayaka will show up and perform. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's so, always the... I, I, think, I, think, I think there's a chance that uh, Amagami Hime wins because, because of the Sayaka effect. <laughs> It's gonna be that versus Ha, probably. Yeah. Uh, do you know what like Akarin picked? She really. She always says she likes Kyu and Kyote. Yeah. She's gonna choose something about with Queen Tet or something because. Yeah. I think I saw Anchu. She. Anchu <laughs> chose the Gainin one. Yeah, the, like the <laughs> Gain TV show one. Yeah. 
the light blue <laughs> dress. Which I thought that was just a really good one too. Yeah, it's really simple and cute. Yeah. Like the iconic Ganyan one, right? Like, that's pretty yeah. good, actually. I don't think Akarin said anything. No, it's her Twitter doesn't say anything. Yeah, I was looking at her Twitter now, and she didn't say anything. Let's see if Saipi said anything. Does we only care about Queen Tut? Hey, 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 let me throw some... <laughs> Chihi picked a few. Oh, there, She said... It. Chihi picked Mo Hadashi ni wa narenai. Suika Baby, Ha, huh. Takane no Ringo. And then she also picked the t-shirts that they wore in when 4th Gen was revealed. Because the logo is a different color. And the pink one, right? It it's like the pur- purple or pink, yeah. Yeah, so every gen has a different color, I think. For the But the, it's all the same, though. It's a t-shirt with like and the NMB logo. Yeah, and it just looks like someone messed with the hue color. slider. Yeah. <laughs> it's a random one. <laughs> I think I think sixth gen, fifth gen was yellow, and sixth gen was purple. And and I I think uh, I know B two uh, third gen was blue. Yeah. Anyways, um, Saipi has an answer. It's uh, she answered. Can you answer four yeah. of them? The Anji B. She did. So Saipi <laughs> answered uh, the Hatsukoi. Hatsukoi outfit. Uh, um, Waruki, uh, the Saipi version. Uh, Boku dake wa kimi ni ite hoshi. The, the yeah. motorcycle one. And then uh, I think. What, what's, her, what's her unit? Uh. In Team N right now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I don't watch enough. Yeah, anyway, she chose that one. That's uh, that's cheating. What the hell? Uh, Harukan picked her Yokopara one, which is the Hato no Dokusen Ken. It's not the Yokopara one, that's Hato no Dokusen Ken. <laughs> yeah, but it's like her duet with Yokopara. Uh. Yeah, so fun. That's that. Um, yeah, listeners, if you want to tell us what you think your picks, what, what your, just tell us what your favorite NMB costumes are. Yeah. You do so in the comments, let us know. And why is it Why is it, yeah. <laughs> why, did, why didn't Ryan pick it? Oh, because it's it was going to win anyway, so. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we also, if you're like a new listener and you haven't actually don't know what NMB costumes look like. I can go on their YouTube channel, watch some videos, maybe you can figure it out. Yeah, look for the Ha one. Like that's the best one. Look for yeah, Kuten Kyote. Yes. Kyote, Kyote. Kyote, Kyote the, the song has nothing to do with the costumes in the video itself, so that's minus points for that. Well, that's kind of like fifties swing. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. The the, the theme the itself roaring matches, but the song itself doesn't match. That's true. Anyways, not important. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you should so, look at yes. Prom no Koibito. The the they were wearing uh, Jinji Naki Tatakai outfits. Wait, what? Prom no Koibito. Oh, oh the, for B two. No, no, this was Team N a long time ago. Wait, oh, Jinji this was Naki? Shirogumi. This was Shirogumi a long time ago. Prom no Koibito. Oh, the, you mean the music video is based on Jinji Naki Tatakai. Oh, okay. Because when you say that, I automatically think of Hakata-za. Yeah. So, they, oh, okay. But, yeah, they were wearing the, the gangster outfits. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's just generic Yakuza, right? Mm, I guess so. Like 70s Yakuza or something. Or like the Osaka biker game. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so that's the costume contest. We'll find out about that after next time. So let's move on. This one's kind of a <laughs> dumb one. We're just gonna talk about it quickly. So, uh, NMB forty eight is doing a collaboration with Sweets Paradise. Yes. They're doing like a, a collaboration cafe. It's, um, probably so. AKB Cafe, rest of... in peace. Yes. <laughs> last, last, 
end of end of the year last year. They had like a really long line, right? You showed, yeah, you at the last this. day. Yeah. I think they did like a special event or something. Yeah. I don't think. But so. Yeah, it's like the longest line I've ever seen <laughs> in front of that since they opened. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Sweet's Paradise, which is like just like a generic kind of like it's a cake, it's a cake um, shop restaurant. It's a cake buffet. Yeah, it's yeah, a yeah, buffet, yeah, yeah. It's a cake buffet, but they also have cur- a curry bar as well. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's, it's every buffet in Japan has, has a curry to have bar. a curry bar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like even a Shakey's, a pizza buffet, they have a curry bar. Yeah. Um, this one taco buffet I went to, yeah, it's, in Odaiba, they, had... they had a curry bar. I mean, it's probably the like the easiest thing to make. Yeah, because in it's large free, batches. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you gotta have rice with everything. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a famous it's a famous um, yeah, it's a chain chain, chain for okay. girls. I mean, I I've never entered one. Like, I don't have I don't have the <laughs> the courage, the confidence, the courage, yeah, the courage to go to one. Yeah. The perversion. <laughs> are are we going to one of these? We'll see. Uh, it's kind of far yeah. away, though. It's not. There's nothing close to any of us. It's it's in. Uh, there's one in. No, they closed. I think they closed the park. No, 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 there's, no some, there's, there's some there's, in Tokyo. No, no, like, no, yeah. no, no. There's one in Machida. Actual, like... Machida is not Tokyo. Fuck that. <laughs> Anyway, they're doing a uh, collaboration with NMB. You can get like a coaster, uh, menu produced, or member produced yeah. menu items. Uh, but you have to pay for them like... too. So you have to pay for the yeah, buffet. It's... And then you oh, have to pay for from the buffet. Yes. Yeah, yes. the buffet is 1,500 yen roughly. Yeah. And then it's these cheap, items are like 700 yen. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, you can also get drinks. I remember like a long time ago, they had the. Uh... Collaboration with the Okonomiyaki chain. Yeah. And it was like really, like, it was so ridiculous, like, how far away these places were. Like, y- you're not actually supposed to get there by train, you're supposed to get there by car. <laughs> it was it was in Tokyo, but it was like an off, like, far off part of Tokyo. Yeah. And we, we went to eat uh, Okonomiyaki buffet, and it was. <laughs> It got like a picture. I think. I think I still have the picture. I think it was Keiichi. I, I think I drew Keiichi. <laughs> but that it was really. It was really funny. Is like uh, we had. We were eating beside this like um, lady and her daughter. <laughs> and no, and it was like uh, oh shit, this is embarrassing because uh, <laughs> like these are like ran- uh, these are randoms, right? And then you have to put uh, so because like NMB has their own special menu. So they, they put like a flag on your table to say that your your <laughs> Hey, this is where all the It's like It's like don't yeah. sit here if you don't want to be if you wanna like don't want to smell, smell the BO. Yeah. It's like these are dotaku. Yeah. Anyway, uh yeah, it's actually but actually probably don't have to go too far for these ones. They actually have like these are actually in specific locations, so yeah, there's like uh, only five locations in the whole of Japan four, that, that yeah, participate four, yeah. in this um, event. So the one in Osaka is in Tenoji. Yeah, so and, and that, you can that go big there. mall. Yeah, um, and then there's three in Tokyo, between Harajuku, Machida, and Akiba. Yeah, no, no actually, one's going to Harajuku. Connect- like, we well, we I mean, are not goes, going to Harajuku. Yeah, yeah, that's where you want to. <laughs> that takes the most courage. Yeah. <laughs> Akiba is probably going to be the busiest. Uh, like Akiba is not. Uh, the... It's not a cake buffet. Yeah, but then that that's easy. So you can take your embarrassing cake and then get, eat get, it at get home. Get your coaster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and Machi does so, the. Yeah. Uh, it's a suburb. It's in the suburb of Tokyo. That's also where they got the the, the new KFC buffet. Oh, does it? But it's not. It's not the or same. It was Machita, it, Machia. Machita. Machita. It's a, It's in a different area though. So we should go, Matt. We should do the KFC buffet and then go to Sweet Spot. And the cake buffet. Yeah, the cake buffet. Oh, my God. (laughs) God. I'm going to have to, like, lie down for, like, five hours. (laughs) (laughs) Go go to the, like, Moomin Park. I think that's there. Yeah. Yeah, we should make a day out of it. (laughs) Ah, yeah. So that's that. But but we'll probably go to it because... For research... um, for research purposes, or maybe on the same day as another thing that's happening, pretty big news, especially for us and any listeners. 
listening that may but it's too late for it to get your tickets anyway for this anyway that is uh in the b48 theater they're gonna have two shows exclusively for foreigners yeah it's an inbound on call january it the inbound, inbound show on january 27th yeah and uh yeah we kind of found out about this last month and like we're kind of like figuring out okay what's the whole deal with this because it's like nine it's not through ticket center or anything it's through like this tour company deep experience yeah, yeah, it's like this website run by the Osaka City Tourism yeah. office. And they have like other things you know, like boat tours or like that river that goes through Osaka. <laughs> they have a lot. They Takoyaki have a lot of tour. like uh, if if you're a tourist and you want to do like weird weird Osaka shit, right? You, they yeah. they have tours for that. Uh but yeah, this uh foreigner show we hopefully got tickets for yeah right jeff so the thing is that (laughs) they on the sales page they said it would if they don't meet a quota of 100 people they might cancel it um so the deadline to buy tickets they it was originally december 31st but they extended it to january 10th but that's over now and i still haven't heard anything Uh, the only thing i know is that uh, one of our listeners david penyon Thanks for, thanks for listening. Shout out. Um, he says he asked, I think he asked Deep Experience or the NMB management, and they said there would be an alternative show, even if they don't don't meet the quota. Maybe so, they'll merge it. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. It's yeah. ridiculous though. Why are they doing two shows? Just do one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's true. But I guess probably want to give you like the true experience, you know, the deep experience even <laughs> of <laughs> Team N, see that show, and then Team M, see that show. It's only doing two, two. As far as I'm doing three shows, but I guess that's probably they thought that was too difficult and also too late. Yeah. Honestly, it's like a morning show, afternoon light show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think worst case, yeah. they just do, they, they keep the M1, the other one at night, and then eliminate the one in the afternoon. No. R.I.P. Jeff. I want to see N Pride. <laughs> I think yeah, that's not that's the of... most like if if they don't have enough people. I think I think there's they have enough people to do the night show. Yeah, you said like M like originally sold, sold out. Yeah, but, but you couldn't, you couldn't the buy website sold it. out for a moment, but then they like restocked it. So I don't know if that actually meant that we hit a hundred or if it was like some was temporary incorrectly. like glitch, yeah, glitch or like they did it so they could see how many people are buying it or something. Yeah. I th- I think um, I think a hundred yeah maybe maybe it was set to a hundred at first and then that's why it sold out. It could be it. yeah because you said you could buy like three for one of the shows but only two for the other or was yeah. it four and three? It was four and yeah, three. Four and three. Yeah. And then, uh, but then they reached which they had like yeah. we you know we had like you know friends of the show like kind of go reach out and ask them because at first it was like foreigners like as if like it was kind of implied it- maybe just tourists like non yeah. Not they, enough foreigners who lived in Japan. They said specifically, but... like, if you had, if you were, like, a long-term resident of Japan, you couldn't do it. But then they changed it after people asked. Yeah, and they said, yeah, if you live in Japan, as long as you can prove that you're not Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> like, Japanese citizen. Well, but yeah. they said that Japanese citizens living abroad can, can, abroad, can, can also can go. Can join, too, yeah. Because, uh... like, they, uh, like, presumably they can't come regularly to the theater, either. That's true, yeah. They they changed they changed a lot of the rules because obviously like if you make it like super restrictive then there's not enough people yeah and watch. they only yeah. un- they only announced this with one month in advance yeah so it's like if even if you lived really close say in China or Korea and you wanted to come you still only have one month to plan a whole trip yeah and it's during Chinese New Year. So it's really expensive. Perfect time. Yeah, that's, right. that's probably that could have been like the reasoning for why doing that. Yeah, but they all... they thought maybe a lot of people would be traveling abroad. Yeah. But in reality, like Chinese people go home for family reunions. Yeah. yeah. Well, some people leave. Yeah. yeah some like people you're an English teacher in Taiwan or China, and you want to go travel. Yeah. That's possible. I had a friend do that. Yeah, a couple weeks ago. Uh but yeah, so we were like pretty confident, like yeah, they're not gonna get like a hundred doors. It's gonna be really hard, so they <laughs> yeah. need to like actually open this up. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we should ask ask the management again. Maybe they'll do Confirm. like a the same day. T- they might do same day tickets. 
Yeah, poor random gaijin's off the street in number. Yeah, but I think <laughs> I, mean, I think just... this this is a sponsored <clears throat> show though. So like they don't care about they don't care about uh they don't care about the number of uh audience if it's a sponsored yeah. show. It's like already paid for, so they just want to make kind of make back, I guess. That's probably why they're charging, you know. Yeah. Almost one hundred dollars or ninety dollars for. Yeah. So the the our Osaka Tourism Board is the one who has to make up the money, not not the yeah. NB Theater, because like I, I'm pretty sure that's that's how this works. Is yeah. that um the Osaka Tourism Board bought the show. Yeah. Yeah, bought out the show. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that that happens a lot yeah. actually. Like uh in other like sponsored uh like NB has done a bunch of sponsored shows. The one Andy and I went to watch last time. Was a sponsored show, uh, the Osaka Channel one. Uh, ah, yeah. that means no live stream. You guys mm-hmm. don't get, don't won't get. Uh, the won't get to hear their members' crappy English MC. Yeah, that's like kind of the like weird appealing thing about this. Obviously, just besides like going to the show, but like, what are they gonna do with MCs and like? They're gonna start you know talking about like, the, in English. Yeah, and then like. The calls, like, how fucked up are they going to be? <laughs> no one's going to know them except for, like, you know, the, the, us nerds. I, I predict, I predict, yeah, so I think the, the mixes and calls are going to suck. That's also why I don't want it to be opened up to random people on the street. Because you'll get people, like, who don't know idol stuff at all. And yeah. will just or, be, one, weird, weirded out, and two, they might just be disruptive during yeah, the show. It's like going to the robot cafe, a robot restaurant. Yeah, I think that's kind of the vibe they may, may be trying to sell for things. them. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah. how they're trying to sell it. Hey, here's a here's Japanese culture. Yeah. Weird. Japan is so weird. Yeah, we got all these girls locked up in this building. And <laughs> <laughs> so, basically, the NMB theater feels like a dungeon. Yeah, that, that's the, that's the overture, right? <laughs> these angels come down to perform for you. These angels have been locked up to perform for you. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's like a yeah. <laughs> our uh, yeah. So yeah, the whole thing tickets like it. So you get the ticket for the show. You also get a uh, pen light, complimentary pen light, and also group photo. the the group photo, like the ones they sell like after the show. Yeah. But it seems like they'll actually show the audience in it. Yeah, the group photo is like with oh, the really? audience. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's 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 interesting. Uh, but I guess like it kind of like balances out the cost. I think if anything, they're making like they're charging maybe a little extra, like two thousand. I think I think you, you make it up from the because the... the theater show is like what three thousand. Pinlight is also about three thousand. No, oh, I think the theater about, show what? is now four thousand. I think. Shit. Okay. It's well, expensive. Super expensive. So yeah, four thousand. Yeah, yeah and the pinlight three thousand. That's yeah. uh, photo is what fifteen hundred thousand. Yeah. No, and, and then basically it's auto win. So yeah. Yeah. His first come people first people pay hundreds of thousands of yen for <laughs> the for ninety eights yeah yeah so this it's is just like win, that so. yeah so I don't I don't understand why like Japanese fan, some Japanese fans are bitter or jealous that we like get in auto win the show they're they're well, just they're racist yeah they're just racist <laughs> Yeah. The guy that waves that one flag around his pants. <laughs> 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 well, I saw him the other day, actually. At an event? or like... At an event. Uh, yeah. okay. I'm driving the car, the truck, or wherever. That place <laughs> no, the, the, the flag and gave it, it away. So, Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the guy to show. Yeah, if you're listening and if you uh, if you actually got tickets for it, uh, you see us at the theater because we're going... Well, actually, I, we have, if this show happens, we have an extra Team N show ticket. <laughs> so for, you, want to, you for, want to buy it from us. It's complicated, but yeah, let us know. We have an extra. Yeah, we bought we bought it all like, as a group so we could like, sit together. But then suddenly it got broken up when the whole, like, oh, they sold out suddenly. Yeah. But yeah. If you want to come hang out with us, even like if you got your own ticket or separately, by all means, hit us up, find us. Look for the white guy. <laughs> it's gonna be all white guys. Nah, actually, no, probably no. all Chinese guys. To be no, honest, yeah, or yeah, like Southeast that's... Asians. Yeah. Like I'm gonna have like I'm gonna be the one person I had like the easiest time like proving I'm not Japanese. Or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, everyone's going. Like, Can you show me your passport? And then when when they get to Matt, okay, that's okay. Yeah, just go on through. <laughs> I, I, I was even like I was telling you guys when I was in America, I went to like Party City, which is like kind of party goods shop. 
I was looking for like American, like a giant like cowboy cat hat to wear. <laughs> You're gonna wear it there. Back. <laughs> yeah, it's, I found something close. And I didn't. It's not American, but it's good enough. The sunglasses with the American flag on it. Yeah, my gun. And, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, yeah. So that's the Gajan show. All right. Uh, how are you guys doing? On yeah, we can go. We can go through. Good. Yeah. yeah let's continue. All right. So then next, uh, we got a couple of uh, streams, digital shows to talk about, and also concerts to talk about. Uh, first off is the 24-hour college. So this happened, like, I think the week after we did our... You know, this is a couple weeks after our last proper podcast. I think it was like the week after our uh, the, the, recording of the award show. The so yeah, we didn't have any actually knowledge of what happened. Yeah. But it probably didn't win best media content of 2019. Uh, no, <laughs> it's gotten it's gotten like too formulaic nowadays. Mm. And I I think my my complaint about the uh, I mean it's still it's still good fun, right? Like I mean yeah, 24 hours is really fun. But the the breaks have gotten longer and longer. Yeah, like they would the take like camp. 15 minute breaks. They were, <laughs> but was it uh was it you mean? Someone, someone like dabbed on the <laughs> during, during the one of the breaks. Every, every, yeah. they, they would do like stupid shit on the breaks. Yeah, they like dance in front of the camera or whatever. Yeah, I mean it's fine. Like I'm okay with the breaks, but like make it shorter. Yeah, I guess they have like set up all the stuff. Like especially if they're doing like you know, the cooking segments and stuff, you gotta like set that stuff up. Yeah, but I guess they could probably be doing that while another is yeah. happening. Why, why do you but need I'm... only one set? Like because they're only using one once. <laughs> I know, but then before before they would do they would they, they, there was this like the small room, and they yeah. would set that up, and then they would alternate between those two rooms so they could set up the other room. Ah, uh, they can't, the small they can't room keep is just the lights like the on schedule. In there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Save electricity. <laughs> and it's the it's the NMB um like dance uh lesson area. Yeah, like the little crappy. Yeah. Tiny hole in the middle. It's probably it's really small. I don't know. I've never been. You guys probably never been inside or know what. It, no one's allowed like inside. A, yeah. <laughs> so it's probably like I imagine it's probably really small. Yeah. Like much smaller than what appears like on the screen on the TV. Yeah. Uh yeah. So any uh, favorite moments or highlights from the show? Well, I, I think it was I the, only watched like a bit of it. Yeah. I think it was the werewolf game. I think that was really fun. Yeah, werewolf is which always one? Fun, they yeah. did like two of them. Uh, the first was one, the night one or the morning one. The night one, the or, morning one yeah. sucked. Yeah. Even though I, I only watched the morning one, I guess Koji didn't like destroyed that game. <laughs> she accidentally said something wrong. I think. Uh, basically, she got like, basically she won because like she like, basically kept on like tricking people. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's a problem though. Like there were some girls who like understood how it's supposed to work, and then there were some who didn't. Hmm. Like. They weren't playing. Some of them weren't playing uh, strategically. That was the problem. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I watched both, and like the night one was much better. Like that, that one has the more experienced. Memory like the happened. fucking the most hilarious yeah. one was like uh, I think Mikana was a werewolf in the in the second one in the morning one. Yeah. And she didn't say shit. <laughs> 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 like, like and she won. It's like what the fuck? That's one strategy. No one, no one will suspect you, one way or no, the it's other. Because like everyone knows she doesn't say anything anyway. Yeah. It's like oh, let's not bother to talk to Mikana anyway. <laughs> She's not gonna say anything. Yeah. But yeah, the, the werewolf was fun. Uh, what were the other? What were the other ones, Jeff? Oh, tell me about the this one I didn't get a chance Peter, to watch. Peter, that. Want. Yeah, tell me about that. So oh, that was, was stupid. It was just <laughs> uh, it was um, like Harakana and then for some reason Chihi was picked as like the vice captain of the Piro Piro Dan. <laughs> so they were like teaching some other members to like how to do Piro Piro. They would just like come up with stupid variations of Piro Piro or something. Yeah. I honestly don't remember much. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, they did that for. It was a waste of thirty uh, minutes. But... Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, or it's a perfect. perfect they, they had to set minutes. up werewolf. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just a bunch of chairs and <laughs> some, some trump cards or whatever and chopsticks. Because they actually had goods for this, and I guess one of the things they're selling was like the Peter Peter Don like hoodie. 
Yeah. It was and the worst later... one, too. They were making fun of the Piru Piru Dan hoodies, too. It was like, it's oh, like it's really cheap... basic. Yeah. It just says Piru Piru Dan. <laughs> they, were, they were like, well, how much are you selling this for? It's like 5000 35 No, no, no. It was... Oh, was it 5000 Oh, my God. I think... Holy yeah. shit, five hundred dollars. Hey, just just go on the street in in like Harajuku. <laughs> Look at all those people people wearing hoodies with like a logo on it. But yeah, yeah. those are actual brands. This is like random, like yeah. But you, you don't know what <laughs> Piro Piro Dan could be the next out- outbreak fashion brand. It'd be the it'd be the next North Face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So actually, I even had a friend like I saw it. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's too. It's like XL. I think it's only gonna be L and XL. Yeah. I'm like, uh, maybe. So I asked my friend just to check because she was already in Osaka doing stuff. Yeah. And uh, they ran out, right? Said, the yeah, they sold out. Like, yeah. this was like maybe a week after they went yeah. on sale. So, yeah, yeah. I guess no yeah. surprise. And then when I was at home in America, I was like, this close from like, I went on like a custom t shirt <laughs> website <laughs> and, and, and typed in Peter Peter Dunn. <laughs> 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 and I was like, this close. It's like, oh, it'd be like 20 bucks. I could probably get this, like, you know, rush ordered. I should have yeah. done it. <laughs> no one would be much cheaper, no. too. Yeah, it would be much cheaper. I mean, like, shitty quality. I mean, probably the same quality. Like, like you know, Gildan brand or whatever. I mean, uh, this, it's not like this. Um, it's not like the the hoodies were from uh, North Face or anything. No. Some random Chinese uh, hoodies. They just printed yeah. Piro Piro Dan on it. Yeah, anyway, so I guess that sounds like I sucked. Uh, the, I actually watched the danceable thing. It's the best corner. It was oh, pretty was funny because they, like they did like a test. And like the English, they did like an English test, like how yeah. to like translate this or film. Did you watch it for Yamarina? Yeah. <laughs> also, I just happened to be like waiting for my train. Oh, did we talk about Yamarina graduating? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's old news. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't Too remember. Many. She, she's. She she didn't graduate. She, she announced ever, last month. Did she ever stage? Huh? Not I think it's in uh, February. It's, uh, um, uh, it's like a week or a week after whatever. Hamimaru. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I think he has after. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So that thing happened. The English. I thought it was funny. Yeah. yeah. I remember. I remember like, like a rice. That's... Oh yeah, yeah. A rice world grows in a warm country or something. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they Google translated Japanese to English yeah. and then asked and the, the correct numbers. answer was like something Google translated and like completely wrong <laughs> and unnatural. And me and Ryan were like arguing, I think, over this like <laughs> Oh like, yeah. You're yeah. you're saying like warm country like you know, like the countryside, you know. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How how like, Americans I'm from, I'm from, use the from, word country. Yeah, he's very country. And yeah. I was thinking, like, no, you need to have like like a da or a like an article was missing. Like, yeah. it comes from a warm country. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Best part it's... was yeah. Best part was when Chihi came up with the like Japanese phrase with it had the characters one and one thousand. Yeah. And yeah, she yeah, came yeah. up with I- Ichizu Chihiro. It's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you even like predicted that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was right like, I hope she uses secret. something with her name. I was like, yes. It's a cheat. That's cool. Uka, oh, Uka, Uka came up with Ikai Senen. <laughs> <laughs> one time, one thousand. time, one thousand yen, <laughs> and everyone, everyone was like, "What? What's one thousand yen?" <laughs> yeah, H- handshake is a thousand yen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, it's a, it was good fun. Like twenty four hours, twenty four hours is always good fun. Yeah. And I mean, I wish they would um, put more effort into it. I mean, they put a lot of effort into it, and just like more effort yeah. into it. Actually, I think I remember. Yeah, they did like a, a shitty magic show because Anchu was in it. What magic? Anchu Anton. Like they had like that box, and then there's like the third hand that came out of it. <laughs> And they, they reused this, like, in, I think, the countdown thing, which we'll talk about next, I guess. Uh, it's, like, a box. So, basically, like, they're holding... It looks like they're holding a box with two hands. Uh-huh. But it's actually a part of a costume where, like, they have another hand that goes through the sleeve. And it goes uh-huh. under the box. And then, they, like, it reaches out through the top of the box. <laughs> it was, like, a magic show. And, like, Anchu is, like, yawning and, like, covering her mouth while yawning with, well, the third arm. <laughs> uh, and, like, scratching her chin, you know. <laughs> Like they they they, they 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 
abused like Anton a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> it was fun. Um, I think Kojirin and... It was really funny too, like at the ending. Kojirin and Nagisa were supposed to be the hosts and they both got sick. <laughs> <coughs> so, so everyone had to pick it up. I think they overused um, Nagisa because Nagisa was really good. Is really good, right? And she wasn't the host mm-hmm. or anything. She just they just made her appear a lot. Another show they did during the New Year season was the countdown. What was how long was this? It was like six, six hours. Hours, yeah, okay. Uh, and they just it's kind of like a continuation. It felt like a re- rehash continuation of the twenty four hours. Yeah, show. basically just took like the funny parts of twenty four hours and did, did it in six mm-hmm. hours. Did they do the avatar thing again? They, the costume. They they were supposed to do it, but uh, they didn't want to do makeup, so yeah. it, tur- it turned into predator. Oh. oh, with the hair. Yeah, because of the hair and stuff. Like, okay, so we're we're not avatar. We're predator. Was it Anton and Momone again? Uh, yeah, it was Anton and Momone again. So what they did was apparently they did the the contest basically like, um, what do you call this? Uh new character it was a new character contest so they had mm. to like members had to present on like new characters and stuff it was uh, i think i think the funniest one was like uh, momoka and uh shion they were like they were doing the the 24 hour thing the 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 holinochi shinko, oh, <laughs> shinko whatever like the, the, the they have to move forward uh, right and they were like no we don't want to do this anymore so what's what's the so what's our new thing? They 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 said like we're gonna be like Nochi, which I mean they they all, they, they love playing around with uh, Holy Nochi's name. So Nochi, uh, if you read it, if there's a way to read it, I <coughs> mean um, like farmland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they were like uh, farmers now. <laughs> and I I thought like the best the best um, like costume was uh, the clowns. It was Arinachi and Nami, and then they both. It was uh, Pennywise and uh, J- Joker. Mm. So they spent a lot of effort in um, make uh, in makeup, and they spent like five minutes on screen, and then they f- <laughs> they lost. Yeah. It's like get out of here! <laughs> Dang. So that was good. So yeah, it it was it was a good way to spend New Year's because no one watches Kohaku anymore. Fuck Kohaku. Oh, Gaki no Sky. Gaki no Sky is also like fallen out of like. I watched I watched Sasuke though. That was really that was actually really good. There's a special Sasuke for New Year's. There's yeah, every year they do it. Oh really? Yeah, it's a tradition. They do Sasuke every. They they built like this huge like um course in uh, Yokohama, and. Which, for I guess listeners don't know what Sasuke is, like a ninja warrior, I think is what they called it. Uh, it's, it's Japanese ninja warrior. Yeah. The original. Which is fucked up. Like, the original, the original yeah. was Sasuke. <laughs> the original was Sasuke, and then they created American isn't Ninja like, Warrior. Isn't like Tomohiro's And now Sasuke castle? is called Japanese Ninja Warrior. Isn't it like Tomohiro's Castle, or what's, what's the... What's the... Takeshi's oh, Castle? It, the, Takeshi's uh, Castle. Yeah, the fuck is Tomohiro's Castle? <laughs> that, that's, that's my... That's the American Takeshi's Castle. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> Tom's... <called> Tom's Castle. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's called... Takeshi's it was, Castle is great. I the American that. version, they completely changed it to the most extreme elimination Yeah, challenge. extreme ninja warrior. No, no, no. They did that too. This is like... It's because this is on G4 Tech TV. That's how I... My introduction to the whole thing. Oh, I saw it on Spike. So they were showing. Still they like, were showing the Japanese version. It was like subtitled uh, Sasuke. What they, oh. like, they called Ninja Warrior. Like that's yeah. how they dubbed it or named it. Yeah. And then they just started doing it with Americans. Did and it? Yeah, they, yeah, I think American Ninja, Ninja Warrior is successful, right? Yeah, it, it's still going. I, mean, I think. Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah. So this is Japanese Ninja Warrior. This is the real one. Yeah, the original one. It's like Power Rangers and you know Super Sentai. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like Sasuke is really fun. I I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's cool to watch. But it's, like, like it's so cruel too, game. right? Like they were they're showing people training and they they train yeah. for a year for Sasuke, and then <laughs> and if you fail, fail you first five seconds. Yeah, and you're done. <laughs> the like, there was a guy who slipped on the first um like first log uh whatever. first log or something, and then it was like, okay, you're done. It's like what? <laughs> Spent a yeah. year on this shit. I mean, it's like the Olympics, you know, too, right? Yeah. 
Uh, actually, Nishino Miki per, um, joined. Oh yeah, I think she got she got to the second one and then she failed. Not the second stage, like the second obstacle. But yeah, so yeah. Japanese New Year shows are great actually in Japan. I yeah. recommend watching them. Another one they did and briefly mentioned is uh, Anshu and Uka. They played Ao Oni, which is like this weird like freeware horror RPG. Oh my god, it's actually really good. Like, I mean, I watched like five minutes of it randomly. It kind of looked like you know, looks like okay, it looks like an RPG. It's like Silent Hill. Movies. Just, it's just Hill way worse. Like maybe like Undertale or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's obviously like a bit, a bit art and everything, but yeah, like you do you like it is really really freaky, <laughs> how you get killed. And yeah, how, how did they get killed? I, I didn't see that. Oh, you get killed all the time though. Like uh, if the if the monster catches you, you that's it, game over. Okay. So the the game one of the like, part of the game mechanics is save load. Save, okay. save oh, scumming okay. is part of the whole game. Oh, okay. Yeah. Quick save. Okay. But um, like Anshu and Anshu's weird too because she would overwrite the same file all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like there's three slots, right? And but she'll always save in the first one, no matter what. I mean, I mean that's how you do it, right? That's so, how I do it. So they got into they got into like a situation where it's like the the monster was right in They're front like of them. In. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean. They, they were kind of boxed in. It was like, holy shit, what are we going to do? So they spent so like a, much time on that part just to, like, run out the, the door, basically. Huh. But, like, this game, like, even if you run out the door, the monster actually, like, runs after you. Huh. So, like, there's a, there's different ways to get out. But, like, one of, the, one of the things that they always do, which is, like, so weird, it's like there's a room with a closet. And they would always run for that room. Like there, there are like <laughs> other better solutions, but they was like, okay, we have to go to that room. But then you have to you have to get into the closet before the monster shows up. Ah, okay. So they would they would have to run. It would have to be a perfect run. They would run towards the room and then get into the closet right. before the sh- monster like enters the room. But yeah, it was fun. They finished. It was a four hour stream. They finished wow. the game. Yeah, they even like advertise that this is a playthrough. Yeah, and they managed to finish it. It was a full, yeah, it was a full fit playthrough. But you know, they suck, right? So especially yes. Anshu, <laughs> uh, Anshu sucks so much at video games. Like she's really good at like video games, but she she doesn't think. So or like, not really like, good, but like she plays a lot of games. But yeah, so she's used to she's used to a controller. Yeah. So like Uka didn't like Uka would get killed by the monster all the time. Yeah. But then she was a smart one, so she would she 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 would, she would she, tell her what to do. Like, yeah, she would solve the puzzles so like, and stuff, and then Anshu would, Anshu like, would be piloting. Anshu yeah. was like co-pilot. Yeah, yeah. Every, every time like Anshu had an idea, it would fail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So there's that. Uh, let's move on to some concert reports. What concert? So the, uh well Jeff is gonna talk about the most yeah. important concert. Yes, the most important unit concert. Dance we the most first anniversary. The, that's that's not Queen Tit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, did, so did, 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 Yeah, didn't they break up? <laughs> no, we got another no, concert. That, that was Snap. <laughs> <laughs> that was Map. Okay. There's biggest map. <laughs> Yeah, so there's the Dance Bowl first anniversary live, which was announced at NMB ninth anniversary. This was at Umeda Club Quattro, which is like a small live house that holds around 700 people. Uh, so it was really packed. So, I mean, it sold out and like, I haven't been to an idol concert where it's all standing, but everyone was like really scrunched up and all the cheers were so loud that you couldn't hear the singing at some points. Um, that's terrible why that's we, we were so hyped up you want to Mem- hear the singing members loved it yeah I kind of wanted to hear the singing cause, especially because they sang live but yeah. well, did you say that like the, the did you or someone else told me that like they, they were doing like actual songs like I think Kojirin sang like 7th chord or something Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they also. They so what does a, that have to do with dancing? They had so yeah, they had some, they had <laughs> solo corners for every member, 
And then, like, half the songs weren't actually very dance heavy. So they're like, like Quintet Ajays. Yeah, well, it's, so. It's the Walmart version of Quintet. <laughs> hey, hey. That's, that's Matt's favorite. Song. I mean, like, so for example, yeah, like Nanaho did Bokutachi wa Tataka wa Nai. That was actually a really cool dance song. But then, like, Chihi did Hot, Hot, Heart Gata Virus. Virus. Which is not a dance song. Yeah, but it's. It, Basically, they song. like in this in this show they kind of all tried to emphasize each of their own individual characters more. Like Chi kept saying, "Oh, she's the the cute one in Danceable," so she did Heart Got the Virus. Um, okay, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, See, okay. Matt's not saying anything. Matt's tuned out. <laughs> I'm on a bathroom break. That's what we, what we do. When we do, <laughs> we, that's the funny thing when we're talking about danceable. Yeah, this is so totally a break. I was reading. I was reading about Owl Oni when you guys were talking about it. Yeah, got to research it. Yeah, they had like they did like a dance battle, three on three. It was really good. Who won? There's no winner. So we're we're all winners. What? What? <laughs> that's that's, that's lame. not battle. Just... That's lame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what like random is we, people dancing <laughs> what matters is that we enjoyed watching what's important dance. is the friends we made along the way <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but but what's funny is well part, kind of funny is that in the MC because Lapis Arch was announced the day before right and then like some of the dance wall members like kind of tweeted about it like Oh, like let's look forward to tomorrow's live, and then like even in the MC, like Chihi and Uka were, were, like, were they were they throwing shade at Lapis Arch? Yeah, they were like, oh, you know, there's a lot of new things happening with NMB with like the announcement yesterday of a new yep. year. But like we want <laughs> we like we are we have our own goals. Like we want to go in our own way. Oh my god! If you think about it, contribute to NMB like, as we can. Lapis Arch got a bigger venue than Danso. <laughs> Yeah, on, so that's why I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> Remember, so in the Lapis Arch announcement, you you told me about it, and I was like, "Well, come back to me when." Oh when yeah, they yeah, have a live, When they have a solo, li- they have a live, and then yeah. like five minutes later, they announced it. Me they have a WW Hall live. I'm like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I remember this. Like, yeah, come back to me when they get like a a solo oh, wow. live in like an actual hall. It's like five minutes later they announce the, the video. <laughs> There's my five minutes of gloating. Yeah, yeah, but then they announced for Danceable Spring Live in uh, Number Hatch, which Number holds Hatch like very big. It Two holds thousand. like nineteen hundred people. Yeah, something like that. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's, it's almost three times. It's close to the theater too. Yeah, so it's for most people I saw on Twitter, they won tickets except people who I think went for the second floor seated seats. They lost. Uh, yeah, because they want to sit down during a, a dance concert. <laughs> <laughs> we all gotta <laughs> dance along, man. It's a rave. It's gonna be a rave. Yes. I I mean I I've talked about this like way too much now, but. Like my problem with danceable is like they're not actually doing the dance. They're, they're, they're an idol group. Well, it's like we don't know how to watch a dance concert. I think. That's I true. mean, most of the songs they picked were like idly and not like super dance heavy. See, like so. I mean, look. the The point is that not. It's not like they're gonna show off all their technical dance skills every time. It's that they do songs that they enjoy performing, and it's an mm-hmm. opportunity for us fans of these six members to see them i mean it's it's an idol group like let, let's yeah. let's be honest here it's an idol group. they're not they're not they're not they're not, not gonna, they're not k-pop you know yeah they're not they're, they're not e-girls. e-girls rest in peace <laughs> 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 see i should have led with that i mean no. hey they did they did the queen ted song see we'll that's bullshit game. too why, why would you do the queen ted song hey it was it was better Hey, hey, it's not being used by any other group. Might as well take. You know, it's like <laughs> it's like looting. <laughs> looting a dead body. Oh, this song's pretty good. I'll take it. Yeah. You hit I want to see them do which one. No. I'll see Lapis Art do which yeah. one with three people. I mean, they can do it. They, 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 they've, they've adjusted the number of members before. 
<laughs> what do you mean? It's always been for four members. Yeah. No, no, they adjusted because they added like an extra member <laughs> temporarily. The Ringo, the guest, the Ringo. The guest member. Yeah. Yeah, they did a lot. Of, yeah, but Danceable did like all these obscure AKB B sides that I hadn't heard because I haven't been listening to AKB releases in the past year. Mm-hmm. Did they do Namida no Hyo and Choryoku? Everyone fucking does that now. No. Okay. They did that in their previous like the oh, show. Okay. I, I was gonna say plus points for them if they didn't do it. Oh, but they did it. So. <laughs> they did end roll, which is probably one of the best. My favorite. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's, it's an NMB song at this point. Yeah. They did it for a really long time with Risa. Oh yeah. Yeah. They did peak as the last encore song. Yeah. And then they Actually, did. He was like, they ruined, they ruined. <laughs> oh. <laughs> even, even he's throwing shit at you. <laughs> <laughs> because Jeff is the only like is the only like danceable fan out of everyone. So, we, so we this give is him, like kind of like shit to work. I feel like this is like kind of revenge. So like you know we always give shit to uh, Ryan over Yuri stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so now it's like Ryan's chance to give her shit. Hey, but to we actually enough. like in the end we like Yuri, and it's because we know she's she was a big part of NMB. Yes. So oh, come on. maybe we'll have me. Maybe we're danceable all graduates. I mean, I'll say something nice about them. You can soon be the last member. Remaining. Oh my god. That's like the joke. Like, I think she's the first one to go. No, she's going to be the last one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's still Senbatsu. Like, they should they should drop her. Oh, wait, no. So she did get. She's not in the Senbatsu concert. Yeah. And then when Riona, uh, when Mikana dropped out. Like they did replace her. With yeah, and her <laughs> handshake, with, uh, her handshake isn't selling out anymore. She's the only one. Oh my god, that was that was really embarrassing. By the way, the end of the year handshake. Yeah. So she had like three slots or something, and then two of them had uh, same day tickets. Yeah. So if it goes on, I mean, I was asking my friends like what what happened with Yuki Tsun, and they were like, "Well, you know, like the Wota supporting her have their own have their limits, right?" It's not like yeah. she's getting more Wotas. It's like the two people the, that like her. Yeah, it's the people that like her just spending more. So if they promote her with slots, right, that just like that's a burden to them. Yeah, I don't know. A... I think NMB is like ten years now. I think like gaining new fans is hard. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like they're just they fighting over second, the scraps. Yeah, they got like a second win, you know, with the whole like Akarin, Akarin stuff. Yeah, yeah, stuff, and then Saya Yuri. So, actually, I guess part of like, the first wave, I guess. Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, the so, Momoka and stuff. Yeah, I think uh, like Yuri, Yuri just inherited all the Sayaka girls, but then uh, Akarin was the one who actually like created new fans. But then yeah. like these fans don't really go to handshakes anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I don't go. Like I guess concerts would have been better actually. Like that's how like uh, Queen that's why like, they're, they're the ones only concerts. doing girls groups. Yeah. Hey. Even uh. Of the solo groups, uh, of, of the, the Tokyo Dome ones, Tokyo Dome City, like, Coconuts is the only one that has a girl section. Because she's an NMB. For tickets. NMB's the only one yeah. that does that, yeah. Yeah. That's that's fucked up too, right? Like, NMB's the only, like, when, when they do the Senbatsu stuff, right? And then NMB's the only one that have girls-only sections. And Kokuna has a girls only section too because she's Where's the girl. men's only section? <laughs> so, that's not that's get like, into that. <laughs> okay, Matt. That's the rest that's <laughs> every concert. That's the rest it's of the this. men's only <laughs> Anyway, uh okay, here's a kind of a this might be a dumb question. So I'm looking at the danceable videos on YouTube and like the the thumbnails all have clon. K-L-O. Yeah, it's yeah. A, it's a it's a clothing brand. It's a brand. fashion brand that randomly decided to sponsor them for three videos. Okay. Yeah, so they wore their clothes and they convinced me to buy one of them. They suck. It worked then. Yes. They probably paid them. <laughs> Jeff's a mark. Guess yeah, how much? Just just a mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrestling term. I'm picking stuff up. Let's... Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> yeah, Bayard Dance Ball, go go to the spring concert. Unless unless uh, Lapis Arc has one spring the day before. Yeah, and then go to Lapis Arc. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Uh, yeah, so next, uh, last thing we're going to talk about on uh, concert horror is Tanigawa ID's graduation concert. So this was two days after Danceable. It was at Namba. Zep Namba. Yeah. And, uh, Did anyone go? No, I watched uh, part of the stream. Uh, yeah, Ferris, I, Ferris went to I, it. I didn't um, even watch the stream. Oh I watched, God. This is yeah, like, I watched the whole stream. This is like, Actually, it was really dumb how the stream was. So first, they put it like on... It's on Nico Nico, but also uh, they it was on YouTube, it on Perisco- right? No. Yeah, they put it on Periscope. They what? Like, and it, it was on and Periscope only, for free for yeah, like... With 30 minutes, minutes or something. What? Yeah, 10 minutes, yeah. Like the first two songs. And then they went to the MC. And then Periscope kinda, still exists? Yeah, Periscope still exists. It's not Vi. Well, it was just like within the Twitter app or something. Oh, yeah, okay, it's okay. basically Twitter's live stream. Okay. Oh, that's oh, okay. That's Periscope. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was separate service. Anyway, whatever. It was. Yeah, probably bought it. it yeah. I guess. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So it was on that for ten minutes, and then the Nico Nico stream cut it off, and then you had to go watch on Nico Nico. I see. On way in, uh, so I found a way to watch that, and uh, yeah, it was actually a pretty good concert. I really liked the concert. They, they did a lot of like. Her songs are kind of ganky. It was a lot of, of nostalgia bait, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. That's how. That's how. That's how bad concerts go nowadays. Like the Renapion one was like massive nostalgia bait. Yeah, it's like remember this, remember yeah. this. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm, I guess like I thought like the Sayaka Sayaka Sonic was better because it wasn't like all nostalgia all the time. Well, that was more like, just like hey, here's like. This is like kind of like the Avengers Endgame of Hit and B, right? Yeah, yeah, it was actually. Like bring everything that we've been working on for eight years, nine years yeah. together. Uh, so I guess yeah, the one big takeaway from this is uh, they did like this little like play, like kind of skit thing. It was like five minutes long. Mm-hmm. I, I'm trying to like remember. The Yuri Kekijo. The Yuri Kekijo kind of. Was it written yeah, by Momoka? It, I don't know, but it was like uh, no, it says I on, I did yeah uh, I did I did okay. and Anshu were like the main characters in it, uh huh, and they were that's why like, you liked it, that's why I liked it, but also it was like it's it was it was like hosts they're like hosts hosts or host hosts. club yeah oh, okay they did or, prior, they hostess did club hosts. yeah like so they're like the managers or the like the bouncers of the host club hostess club uh huh, and then yeah it was kind of a long skit thing, uh. ID was like not ID. Akari was the. Uh, Akari, do you call Anchu Akari? Akari, Akari, Akari. Oh, okay. Was like the like the you know number one host or hostess or whatever. I see. So they did like they did like a which one do you like, little bit. Uh huh. Um, and eventually, yeah, eventually, became not priority it was what they did their triple. Kiseki wa money on. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, that's what eventually transitioned. Oh, so, they, the, it was the three of them. Yeah, but um, Airi, Airi, Anchu, and Momoka. But but at first it was just a duet, uh-huh. and you kind of like might saw a tease because like they kind of fucked up because you can see like a second hat under one of the other hats that they're holding. Oh, really? Because they're wearing the costume. They're wearing. You know, did the, you know? Th- so when the when they started Kisaki Manio Manio and I, did you think Momoka was showing yeah. up? Because if I was I watching didn't... that, I would be like, oh, okay, Momoka's definitely showing up. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> why would they chose like a three three O song, right? Yeah, yeah. But at first, yeah, it was just a duet, and then it got to like a nice like instrumental break, and it stopped. Lights went out, yeah. and you hear like a omata sit, and uh, Momoka comes out of the door, like going down the stairs. It was people pretty go nice crazy, entrance. yeah. And then yeah, they gave her. They had like the hat under one of the other hats that they're wearing, and they gave her. I and see. She performed. It is. It is definitely a pretty cool moment. Yeah. Better moment than Rupon. Get fucked, Rupon. <laughs> <laughs> I th- like. I, it might have been up there with like Sayaka showing up too. I just know Sayaka is probably still bigger, but I think it's still like, yeah, yeah. Sayaka think... was a bigger surprise, but I think the execution of the Momoka was definitely cooler. Sayaka was a bigger surprise, of course. It was a bigger surprise. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. that Sayaka, like nothing would have been bigger than Sayaka showing up. Maybe like Milky, but not that. that would Milky and Yamada not show up. The Silkland <laughs> combined forces can't match up to Sayaka. Like. I want I want tenth anniversary to uh, I want like Saya Milky and Nana to do Dakishimira uh, Retara in tenth anniversary. Mm. Like that's the that's the dream. 
But yeah, um, yeah, it was a good concert. I liked it. Oh man, it's like it's the first NAB concert where oh. like I didn't even bother. The funny thing with her gra- her dress, so it's all like sunflowers and shit. Yeah, like I think maybe real sunflowers. I'm not sure, uh-huh. but she could not really move in it. <laughs> so when she came out, she was literally just like standing there or like sitting. Yeah, oh, that, happens, like, that happens a the, lot. Apparently, the water gave her the dress. I think. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. Or they made it. Yeah. So Wait, it, she couldn't like, move at all. So you like, only you you have to be like super big, I guess, for them to make a dress for you. Mm-hmm. I wonder. Like, I, I always wonder Udon, how I think Udon like the the waters gave her the dress too. I guess they have to ask management for permission, and then also their measurements. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, the costume designers could can adjust it, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. But like, yeah, it was really funny with her dress. Yeah, she just couldn't move at all. <laughs> yeah, most dresses right? are like that. I think Yuri's mm-hmm. Yuri's dress like uh, has a like a break off. I think Sayaka. Yeah, had I remember it. she Sayaka took she too. took off half of it. At one yeah, point. she ri- ripped it off. Yeah, Sayaka had it too, so that you can dance. Yeah, so that was that. That was Irie's yeah. my, concert. My favorite parts were the the old, the previous Team N and then the like Yamada, Nana, Fujie, Reina, Team M songs. Nah. Like re- Reset. Yeah. It's like, oh my god. Because that, that's when I got into NFB. So. I, I think with, with so many graduations coming like one after another, like the the impact that it could have had was lessened. Yeah. Like it like this was the third graduation concert in a month. Yeah. Yeah, it was kinda like maybe a little bit fatigue. Yeah, like, it, it was it, like per- personally for too... me it was fatigue. Like, and then oh, kinda of, it's also kind of one. like because we gave Renna Peel one, we kind of have to give Irie one. Yes, exactly. E- even though neither of them sold out. Neither of them deserved it. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, don't no! I things, mean, don't say things can't take back. No, I mean, okay, that that's that that, that might be too much, but <laughs> but like they usually don't give graduation concerts for yeah. like that level of member, like B, like like B two. For example, like if you think about it, like Kanak- Kanakichi and Ripopo didn't get a yeah, grad yeah. concert, and they were like probably higher up than those two. Yeah, I think it's probably just because like you know, NB has kind of fallen from grace now. This is like kind of like what they can do. Yeah, because like uh, before before Udon, right? Who was like the lowest member who got a grad concert? It would be like Lemon. Well, they would get like yeah, the Oryx Graveyard. Yeah, the Oryx Graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was like Lemon, Rainian, uh, Fuchan, Keichi. Right. Mm-hmm. Those are like way 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 up top members like they were like top 10 I like guess? they're top members but not gonna get like a solo con- like not gonna get like you know kobe world hall or yeah 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 like the, the, the oryx graveyard right well this is <laughs> this is lower right this is zep namba this is lower than yeah oryx. this is the graveyard this is like the it's like the, the zep graveyard zep no, the zep the funeral mausoleum <laughs> <laughs> zep mausoleum or something yeah but like they haven't done like a grad concert for a low member in in a long time. Actually, the last mm-hmm. one was like Aika, hmm. and I, I think they only gave her a grad concert because it the 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 dates matched up. Yeah, it was during the tour. Yeah, it was during the tour. Oh, we have a date here. Okay, this is now the grad concert. And Apple. Apple wasn't a grad oh. concert. No, oh. it was a B two. It was a B two. It, it happened to be in Hiroshima. Yeah, it happened to be in Hiroshima, and they were like, okay, yeah. this is now the Up-On concert. They, they didn't even announce it as an Up-On concert, so it wasn't officially a good concert. I think Momoka, like, hers was, like, part of the uh, Yokohama Arena tour concert. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Momoka. Yeah. No, so it no, wasn't no, a con- no, 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 It wasn't a grad concert, but the they kind of, like, like gave her a little, yeah. Her yeah, little, they gave like, her a tribute. corner, yeah. 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 And she had her own uh, event, I think, uh, for YNN. Mm. But uh, it was never archived because you know Momoka does crazy shit. Oh yeah, I remember the like weird solo event. <laughs> yeah, and no, no, she got like and she got other members to show up, but yeah, then yeah, these yeah. were like guest guest appearances. But it was a solo event. It was like in a nightclub. <laughs> yeah. 
I think like she, I I remember like Momone was danced Warki, and then and there was other stuff too. But There's yeah. like members sitting in a chair and like doing <laughs> really suggestive things. Yeah. But you know it's Momoka. She's crazy. But yeah, so I think the next one would have to be like Uka or someone. I think at that level, right? They they've set the bar as you said. So Uka has to get one now. Yeah. yeah. And She's then probably like, like the last of like that kind of tier. Yeah. Until like you know like fifth gen members or whatever. Like I mean, Riona probably won't get one, right? No, no, no. So there's no time. There's no time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's true. <laughs> Fair enough. Like if they give her more time, they might have sent her to the Oryx graveyard, perhaps. Yeah, no, she's not that popular. No, not that. Okay, maybe in like yeah. three years. She, yeah, yeah. It's probably like in like you know one, two years, maybe like Ion. I think she'll probably be in the, like the first one to leave of that. Yeah. So like which, the next, which means fuck Lapis Arc. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the curse. If you're in a unit, you're gonna get you're gonna graduate. Yeah. Fifth gen. Fifth gen. I think is the next one that can get. Like you're, you're gonna start getting like these kind of concerts again. because like Akarin and Miru are definitely gonna get one, right? And a then, big one, yeah. And Saipi, maybe Saipi and Nagisa yeah, get, Nag- get Oryx. Yeah. And then Uka gets Zep. And then yeah, that's it. Yeah, until like fifth gen and yeah, until else. like fifth gen, whoever like how that ranks, how that uh, shakes out, we like, don't know yet. Yeah, unless like yeah, some like some member starts blowing up. Who knows? Yokosumi is gonna blow up. <laughs> it's gonna be like a bikini party. So. Yep, one, two, three, four. <laughs> 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 They'll graduate together. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, last yeah, last part. Let's get to the comment corner. Just kind of catch up on some comments from the last previous show. These are like, well, like over a month ago. Yeah. We have <clears throat> comment from Vladimir Parada. I thought Ryan became an hero after you regret. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it, it's it is my last appearance. It's true. Yes, it's true. Well, no, you're senior correspondent, so you'd be on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he ascended. He ascended to heaven. Yes. And became. Senior correspondent. Yeah, this I guess we could have talked about from uh, the the mahjong bullshit yeah. part. Uh, so this comes from Christian Casas, who says Nakatakana for you to not forget for the main idol group in the world. Um, I, so I think I, it's I, talking about the member we forgot the name, Nogizaka member. Oh, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't know there was a Nakatakana in Arashi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay, okay. That was that. <laughs> you you hyped that up more than that. <laughs> I, I, I was I, I was like uh, wavering between uh, Arashi and, but then fuck K-pop. If you say you're gonna get yeah, them we actually, attacking we, this podcast. Yeah, we don't want, we don't want that. We have to, actually have to censor out that. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so Arashi, yeah. yeah, Arashi. She's not a member of Arashi, right? Aren't aren't, aren't they on? hiatus now too yes they are uh after this year i think yeah so they perform at the olympics uh yeah and then this other comic comes from jerison oration so he's saying about size uh, mahjong show we're probably gonna see more in 46 groups in the show especially yoshimoto zaka 46 why Maybe? i guess I they i guess no, they need to actually it's not, it's not a nogizaka show it's not a nogizaka show it's a nogizaka show yeah yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not so not not, not Sakamichi show. But uh, even when it was Saipi, like they invite random other forty eight members, yeah. right? Yeah, mm. but it's not an NBA sh- an NBA show anymore. So whatever, fuck yeah. that. <laughs> it's dead to me. Uh, uh he also says Ryan. It seems that or appears that uh, Yuri knows you. I think it's pretty <laughs> because you're responsible for the rainbow light at the concert, right? Uh yeah, yeah of course. I, I I was the only one who did it. Yeah. Uh, lastly, he also said Mitsuya cider is really good because he likes the apple flavor. No, it's terrible. It's too sugary for me. That's that's from our dumb talk about that. I think I, I think it's not even. Oh sugar. yeah, the flavor. I think, it's, <laughs> I think it's not sugary enough for me. Like it doesn't it, taste it like. Tastes well, too well you're Filipino. <laughs> yeah. Like my problem with Japanese like fruit flavor, like artificial fruit flavors, it tastes too much like the real fruit. It's not like American fruit flavors, you know, where like... Tastes nothing like the fruit? Yeah. 
and I like the the fake flavor. Oh my god! Flavor. Like so, I I went home recently, right? And I, I, I there was I went to like this fancy like uh, restaurant or something, and then they had like a drink bar, and they had like orange juice. I was like, okay, I'm gonna get orange juice. It fucking tastes like powdered orange juice. It's like tang. Yeah, no, it tastes exactly like tang. Okay, I didn't know that. It's like, holy fuck, this is tang. Dude, tang, tang is bad. I like Sunny Day. Sunny Day is pretty good. Yeah, it's like, holy shit. Like, it says orange juice. Like, I was expecting it to taste like orange juice. But I guess, like, back home, like, when you say orange juice, they, they think tang. Tang or, like, Sunny, sunny Delight. Sunny <laughs> At least get cool or something, right? <laughs> no, cool is horrible too, because it's like yeah. it's like concentrated juice, and then they still somehow add more high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, it's like yeah. why is this necessary? Yeah, you don't want cool. You want the what's the other one? So it's like there's not chan, Koo, not chan. Yeah, yeah, that, not chan. That one, not chan's pretty good. Okay. I think it's better. Than I'll have to give that a try. I mean, it tastes the same. No, no, no. Yeah, Kuh and Nachan taste the same. So oh, if you don't like, like Kuh, you don't like Nachan. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like high C. You know, it's like their version of high C. Oh, yeah. well, if there's no twice on it, I'm not going to get it anyway. Yeah, I guess that's, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, terrible, terrible, terrible yeah. shit. Yeah, so on that note, that's going to do it for uh, this edition of NMB Takoyaki Party. Uh, thanks, everyone, for listening. Uh, definitely, you know, let us know about like, you know, your costume picks and any other things you want to say about the show in the comments or email us at nmbtakoyaki.party at gmail.com um, you can subscribe to us on uh, you know, your podcast app or program iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Play Stitcher all that good stuff subscribe to us on YouTube You know, let us know what you think tell a friend if you like the show tell us if you like the show that's also that's also helpful tell us if you don't like the show yeah <laughs> don't, don't tell us that tell ryan that <laughs> <laughs> tweet at geofreak 17 geofreak 17 is jeff yeah. frown dog 0606 yeah is ryan yeah right yeah. i also have to remember to use like numbers and i'm matto underscore right. matt zero numbers oh did you change it yeah it's not matto dio anymore i changed that oh. i re- did rebranding oh <laughs> Take the weeb out. Take the weeb out. Yeah. Matto, Matto. Twitter. Yeah, those are Twitter handles. Also post them in the thing. Uh, Yeah, so that's going to do it. Uh, Thanks, uh, Ryan and Jeff, for uh, being on the show. And yeah, we'll we'll see you guys again next time. We have a lot of concerts to talk about next time, so be sure to check out the next edition of NMB Takoyaki Party. Bye.